You know when you hear someone fart and you're like, oh, you definitely just sharted? Like, it's like the <laughs> kind of fart. I walked away and I was like, oh, I should probably go check this out. Joey, how many times have you yourself? Hello and welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. I am your host for today, Garns. Joining me once again are the boys and we have another special themed episode for you guys today. What do we got, Garn? Tell us. Because I don't know if there's an actual name to this game we're going to play, but I pitched this idea to the boys, mm. uh, but it's based on a game I played with a bunch of mates. It's called Drunk Stoned Stupid. Okay. Uh, okay. And so I've never heard of that title. So, so you, you know, you know how you play like drinking games, yeah. and sometimes you have a game that's like everyone plays. Never have I ever, mm. right? Which is a good icebreaker game, sure. right? Mm. This was a game I played with a bunch of mates. That is more of like that is more conduct, uh, conductive to people who already know each other. Okay. So how mm. it works is normally you pick up a card mm. and you get a certain statement, like who is most likely to not pay you back or something oh, like that. Right, right. And you have to pick someone in your friend group who is most likely to be that person. Mm. And you have to argue and banter and uh, defend your case. And I thought it was a pretty fun game. And mm. uh, okay. And uh, I know that if I play with the boys, we're only going to agree on every single <laughs> statement. That's so, for sure. So normally this game, you know, we have a box of cards, but we thought it'd be more fun if mm. we asked you guys over on our Patreon uh, to give us a Thank bunch of different patrons. statements uh, and uh, see which see what piece of information you want mm. to know about the boys. And uh, don't forget that you can potentially ask us questions if you join the Patreon as well. For yeah, future yeah. You can do that by going to patreoncom slash trash taste. I have to show. Yeah. Show. yeah, yeah. But while you're while you're shilling, <laughs> oh, Connor, no, sorry. while you're shilling, <laughs> who's more likely to shill? Oh <laughs> uh, wait, Connor, is that? That's the Connor shirt. Finally, now now is available. it back? He is in wearing stock? it. Yes, it is only for I think like a what one or two more days. Uh, uh, like, yeah, it's, it's like, only one. Or this is one days. of the last days so. you can get your hands on it. You guys have been asking for it. We brought it back just for you guys, but we today- We didn't bring it well, back for you guys. I, I, I needed more of these. Well, yeah. We, we brought I'm it back because Connor these, yeah. ran out of a wardrobe. Yeah. So we needed to bring it yeah. back just so we can get him more shirts, but yeah. uh, you can get the same shirt now. I don't think we'll need to bring it back. So I asked for 30. So I think after <laughs> this, we'll be fine. So we should be fine. So this, so this is your last chance to get it. So Connor's yeah, gonna be wearing Connor this shirt. shirt at the fucking retirement. Yeah. <laughs> Put me in the shirt, won't you? No. One of the good ones. <laughs> I won't take my pills unless you put me in my shirt on. But yeah, so last day to get it, uh, click the link in the description below because we're serious this time. After this, we're actually not bringing you back. Yeah, because Connor's not going to run out of shirts. He's hopefully. not going to run out of shirts. He's got his. He's got his shirts, and you can too. So get it while it's there. But. Without further ado, uh, should we jump into this? And yeah, let's as just, the title says, potentially ruin our friendship. Let's just ruin our friendship. So I, th I actually think it might be fun if we get the whiteboards for this. I probably yes, should have thought yes, about that. All right, let's do that. Yeah. The reveals are dramatic. Yeah, the reveals are more <laughs> dramatic. So let's have a look over at I, the Patreon for well, some of the stuff that you guys asked us. I, I saw some of these comments and these feel targeted. Like this first yeah. one is just, they've targeted this at Joey. Uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously. Okay, let's, let's, let's not do any, okay. So if it's let's, targeted, give, let's we'll, give an okay. example. We're not gonna discuss this too much because we know what the answer for this one is going to be, but let's give an example. Uh, Gittery asked, who is most likely to not watch a popular series <laughs> slash show? Certified anime man hater. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Gittery has just decided that they want to yeah. make something about Jerry. Was and this one of you backwards. guys? Is this one of your <laughs> like- <No. laughs> Which is, I think a good example to start us yeah. off, you know, but- So obviously was... no room for discussion. This is me. All right, but- Jose you asked- I think it's Jose. Mm, Jose, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Asked hey, Jesus, who, ask, ask. <laughs> who is more likely to get away with murder or any crime that you guys can think this of? This is a good one. This is a good like one. No, oh, hopefully, hopefully there's no <sighs> immediate answer Ooh. with the key, you guys. Ooh. What do you mean who's more likely? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, likely is an odd choice of word. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Let's, let's, let's go with murder, you know. Okay. Should we go with murder first? Yeah, let's go with murder. Have you guys ever gotten away with any petty crime okay, before? I've seen murder. I was like, oh. <laughs> Have you guys ever gotten away with murder? You Have you guys got ever gotten away with murder? <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, try. Uh, <laughs> what are you, the feds? <laughs> uh, let's get see. Get away with murder. Not likely to commit, but get away with it. Yeah. All right. So this is pretty, like, this is the assumption that we've all committed murder. Yeah, we've and, all yeah. committed murder. And who's going to get away with it? Yeah. Um, what, a, what a thought. What a thought. What a thought to start off the episode. Okay, I've got I've got my answer. I okay. really do think this one. All right. And okay. you can vote for yourselves, by the way. Okay. okay. It kind of feels 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just a joke answer. Ready, three, three two, two, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I think gone. Oh, really? I think gone. Why, why gone? <laughs> Dude, could you imagine the police like the police interrogation of Gaunt? They're like, fuck, he's chill. <laughs> like, Ain't no way this guy like, did it. They're like, I don't think he did it. He's so chill. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> Shit, he's chill though. Shit, you're right. <laughs> you think me? I don't know. I'd uh, like, I like I just picked someone because <laughs> someone. Only three, Joey. One of three of us did I, the murder. I yeah. just picked someone. I don't know. I feel like you can sweet talk your way jo through it. Joey would uh, admit it on the spot. Oh, yeah. You know, like, like <laughs> guys, it was me. I would just immediately break down crying being like, I'm sorry, I did it. Okay, so I have two folds to this because okay. um, I, am a very chill, I am a very chill person, mm -hmm. but I feel like I would uh, mm -hmm. I would be awful at an interrogation. I can't even pass an interrogation with my mum, let alone <laughs> the fucking police. Um, I would argue that your mum's interrogation yeah. is harder than the police. But I feel like what would give me the advantage uh -huh. for this is years and years of uh, third hand information of listening to every fucking true crime podcast you can ever think of <laughs> with Sydney listening to it in the shower. I, I feel like I've just absorbed every single detail of every murder case via os so osmosis. I can't shift my eyes. I can't move awkwardly because <laughs> yeah. then the, I can hear the narrator's voice in my head. <laughs> I have seen every single police interrogation video from beginning to end. I know every murder case. And if anything, I have Sydney on speed dial. I'd be like, honey, what do I need to do? I've murdered someone and I don't know what this says about my wife, but I feel like she, instead of questioning me, she'd be like, all right, let me tell you how to hide the body. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> let me tell you how to hide the body yeah, first. Gotta, and then, the yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That makes it harder. That is harder. When yeah. you watch true crime though, you just kind of realize you're like, oh wait, the people who like get away with it are mm. people who just randomly kill people for no reason. Yeah. Like they have no connection to yeah. it. Yeah. It's like, I just want to kill someone. I thought it out for a long time. Yeah, uh, that's it. Cause then normally if you, if you like, I feel like the difference is between like, if I, if you told me, hey, Connor, you have a year to plan out a murder on anyone random. I'm like, okay, maybe I could, maybe I could get away with this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, kill one of your co-hosts. I'm like, I'm going to be questioned. This <laughs> yeah. is, yeah, is going to be hard. Yeah. Yeah. Gaunt already has that information preloaded. So if we yeah. see on the news, like, oh, Tanaka Sakura died, we'll just be like, <laughs> <"Tanaka's me." laughs> it's like, ain't no way that was gone. Like there's no connection whatsoever. Oh, it'd be so awful if one of us killed each other. Cause like you think back to, all of the shit you said on Trash Taste that could be used as against <laughs> used against you as a motive <sighs> against your fellow. Why we film it in 4K. <laughs> yeah. Can't deny it's me. It's like you're on. A, I don't think. Uh, you know. I don't think I've ever said this statement to Joey before. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, in episode 145 of Trash Taste, <laughs> you mentioned this. Pull up ev evidence one of 5,000. <laughs> yeah. This is a statement that could be used against me if I ever rob a bank. But do you ever have the manly urge to just want to pull off a bank robbery? <laughs> 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 there is uh, a manly urge that you think that you could pull off a bank robbery that you just get randomly. I think you've been playing too much. It, it depends. Now. It depends on how uh, you have thought about it. I you've mean, I okay. I haven't thought about it, but you know, you know, obviously, bank robbery, committing a crime, uh, bad, and everything. But sometimes you hear <laughs> about these real life bank robberies that yeah. are just like they're in, they're out, mm. they get what they want, and then they disappear, and you're like, damn. It's cool. Okay. Listen, okay. Okay. I, I don't think that it's it's good to rob a bank, mm. but they have insurance gone. So I mean, it's they're basically asking you to do it. So it's just free money, <laughs> right? It's this a victim. It's way. a victimless a crime. <laughs> there are no victims. Tell me a victim. Insurance companies cannot be the victim. I refuse to. Believe. It's <laughs> our money. <Yes. laughs> I'm just saying. This does, this is no correlation to the fact that I watch Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> All right. The real big. question is: Okay, if anyone, if any of you gets arrested, will you? Will you actually say nothing? Will you uphold your, what was it? Fifth amendment or whatever? I mean, does the, the right to well, say it nothing? It depends where we are. Does Japan even have the fifth amendment? I don't know. Like they're like, you don't have the right to remain silent. You have to tell us fucking everything. <laughs> All right. I right. Japan does have the right to remain silent, doesn't it? I don't know. But I mean, what the right to remain silent is just not answering. So yeah. I yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. But I guess the whole point of that is it's not, to be used as like a point of like, look, Joey's guilty. He didn't answer any questions. <laughs> Japan, I don't know. All right. Well, if we any of us robs a bank, then you know who to yeah. blame first now. <laughs> All right. Next All one. All right. Moving on. Uh, I like this one. The found hero says, who is most likely to return a dish at a restaurant because it didn't come out how they expected or didn't like it? Oh, that's, that's quite tough. I don't think any of us really do this. Can we... 
expand this out to anyone in our friend group? <laughs> Okay. That would just mean Melee. Okay. Yeah. I was going to I mean, to if say, you say that, there's only one answer. Right? I was like, I don't know who would be most likely. That, you might as well have just said, can we all just write Melee? <laughs> I mean, okay. Returning a dish, if it's just flat out not what you ordered, I think is okay. Yeah. yeah. But if it's like- But, so like, that, but like, it's all about expectation. Ex ex expectation. You so you no, got no, the no, dish no, no. That, that you, you. ordered. That's on you. Yeah, yeah, you got the dish that you ordered, but it wasn't up to your standard. Who's most on, likely? That's on you. Yeah, I, I don't I don't believe in returning that. Uh, okay, who's uh, who's most likely? Okay, I, don't care. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have said those opinions. Cause now, <sighs> fuck. I don't know. I, uh, uh, mm. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, ready? All Three, right. two, one. Wait, why me? <laughs> why me? No, it was between you two. Yeah, it was between yeah. you two. I thought Gaunt maybe because you are obviously, uh, you know, you go out to the most restaurants out of any three of us. <laughs> I like how you said, why me? As you put me down. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's just unfathomable to put you. Yes. I, yeah, so I was gonna say, I was gonna say Gaunt perhaps because he eats out the most, right? And he probably yeah. goes to the most I, amount of restaurants. I, but again, same thing with the murder. He's too chill. Yeah, but also Gaunt has the most particular tastes, I feel like. Oh. Gaunt needs like the sun to align for you right. to want to eat something on a certain day sometimes. I All feel right. like if it doesn't quite come out how you expect, it'll ruin your vibe. All I need to know is that there is no ketchup coming on my burger and- uh, Yeah, like I, I think I've seen like mayo turn up on a burger and you've returned it. So I'm like- <laughs> That's, shit. That, that kind of aligns with this, shit, right? Maybe you're right. I, I, like, just said, I, just said, I said you because- I, we, we, yeah, okay, good, I said yeah. you just because, you know, classic British complaints what? about everything. I literally no. will eat anything put in front of me. No, no, British would eat it and then give a one star review. <laughs> oh on, yeah, uh, no, I, I, I will, I will, I will talk yeah, yeah. shit about it for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Awful that's that's not the British way, but- uh, Fair enough. I've seen you return a burger because it had too much mayo on it. No, mayo I'm okay with. Ketchup, ketchup is where I draw the line. Because often they put ketchup on it as well. I swear we've been in a place where you open the burger and Gant does this thing where he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Gant just. <laughs> Sad Gant appears. Yeah. All right. Uh, Whisk asks, who is most likely to die in a stupid way? Define, define, just, Joey, why? Joey just gave me the biggest fucking side eye of all time. <laughs> Bombastic side eye. <laughs> Criminal offensive side eye. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is pretty easy. Oh, is that my pen? Can I, can I steal oh, that? Oh yeah. This, this one is like, I, I can't see shit. <laughs> define, define a stupid way. Like Darwin Award. Darwin Award? <laughs> well, not even Darwin Award, just like something where you're like, oh, you shouldn't this have been be doing really that. really awkward if this comes true. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> I mean, he's an adrenaline junkie. Connor just has not this, afraid to get hurt. Connor just has this fuck around and find out kind of mentality. I do, I do have this yeah. fuck around and find um, out. And I mean, know, sometimes I worry because sometimes I don't know if it's going to bite him in the ass sometimes. Gant oh. and I are too cautious and too much of a pussy to do anything <laughs> that's like dangerous. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know? I, I mean, I, I just have a disregard sometimes. Whereas Connor's just like, as long as it's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, the thing That's is, true. if it's not on camera, Connor yeah. won't do it. But yeah. if you have a camera pointed in his face, yeah. even if it's just a fucking phone camera and it's just for your own personal collection- I wanna die exactly he'll, he'll how fucking, I live. He'll do it fully monetized. Uh, you can't <laughs> die on camera. No one's ever died for the camera. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, sometimes Touch I, 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 I just do things that I know that is not a great idea, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's safe. <laughs> Uh, what do you think is the most, have, have you ever had a moment that you think is a near death experience or a moment that you're like, no, oh, I saw- uh, On camera? I saw, not on I'm, camera. I'm, I'm <laughs> just very general. lucky in general. I'm, I feel like I have a good, I feel like I have a very good read on like my ability in situations. Yeah. Mm. So I feel like I often, I mean, the closest I think I've ever come to dying is I nearly, I was on like this pontoon one time and it flipped when I was like 12 and I was stuck underneath it. Oh and shit. I couldn't get shit. out and I had to like swim out, but it was really tough. Cause I, it was like a movie. This like chain had gotten wrapped around my arm. So I had to get it off. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Fucking Houdini right here. Yeah. yeah Cause yeah. the pontoon was chained in four different points to, yeah, to yeah, wear yeah. it down. <laughs> yeah. And then it flipped. And then obviously the chains had gotten flipped too. Mm. So it kind of dragged my, and I remember it was really hard to get out. And then I had like, it's weird. Cause when you, if you've ever had like a near death experience and no one else realized it, it's yeah. a really weird thing where you're like, holy fuck. And everyone around you like, what's up? 
It's like, yeah, you can't share it and like convey that same emotion. I was like, I was just trapped here for like a solid minute trying to get out of these chains. Yeah, like a shitty Houdini stunt where no one saw it. It was in murky waters. Yeah. Um, It's weird to think because you talk to people and I'm sure I've had this before, but most people have probably had a near death experience that, you know, it's, you, you have that same kind of moment where you think, wow, that could have gone really fucking mm-hmm. wrong. And then the moment just passes and you're like, all right, but I'm alive. Yeah. <laughs> and it's cause you don't get any like, if unless you have like a life changing injury or like a really bad injury to anchor that moment yeah. to you. I don't yeah. think you properly remember that. I moment. think most people don't realize it's a near death experience until after the matter of the fact where they've got over it. And then they think back to it and they're like, oh no, actually I could have died there. That, that was that yeah. might have been a near death experience, but uh, then again, it's like I don't know. Whenever you you talk about that kind of stuff on the internet, there's always someone who tries to like fucking one up you with like yeah. you call that a near death experience. <laughs> Let me tell you my it's story. The same thing with like temperature. Have you ever mentioned something was hot? Someone from a hotter country will tell you. Yeah, 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 like, yeah exactly. You should, you should oh no, I, I had a fucking stupid near death experience recently, actually, which mm-hmm. probably maybe definitely might have been a near death death experience. Mm-hmm. But um, so. As you know, I've been getting into like fidget toys recently. What? <laughs> well, uh, kind why? of, kind of. How does this transition to your near death? Okay, okay. So there is this fidget toy that I have, right? Which I don't know if it's really a fidget toy, but it's one of one of these things where you know it's a bunch of like small metal uh, metal spheres that are magnetic. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. you can form into like different yeah, shapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you right. I can't remember if you got me that or if someone else got me that. Um, no, no, someone else got you that. Yeah, I think, yeah, I I think someone else got me that. Right. But basically it's a bunch of small metal uh, metal spheres that you can make into any shape mm-hmm. and it's fun to fidget with and just squeeze and shit yeah, like I'm that. I was using it at your house, it's fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> um, I, fuck? I was zoned out. <laughs> yeah. um, I was zoned out scripting. Uh, and sometimes my, you know, this has just been a bad habit. Uh, if I have a pen in my hand for, or for whatever reason, sometimes I just chew on it, you know, people do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, I had my little fidget toy in my hand this time. And subconsciously, uh, subconsciously, I just started, uh, I just, oh, uh, no. I just uh, started chewing, took a bite. Obviously it's a bunch of small <laughs> magnetic balls that are so only- <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't know. And then I just started fucking choking. I had Holy a bunch of small fuck. metal balls. Oh and you know God. how they say this thing is just like, do not put this into a grasp of a five-year-old because yeah. this is a I choking hazard. No, going. do not put this into a grasp of a 33-year-old man because it is also a choking hazard. Uh, and uh, uh, that happened. Luckily, nothing happened. It was just like a small little choke, yeah. but that was like, that could have been bad. That I could t- have been bad. Yeah. I told Sydney if you to- were taking a big bite out yeah, of that, yeah, yeah. Dude, like- I told Sydney to bin it immediately because I cannot be trusted. <laughs> like <laughs> these beads tried to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh the more God. I grew up, the more I realized, you know, sometimes I'm a mature adult. Sometimes I'm just a fucking five year old kid and some things just haven't changed. Uh, well, next time we go out to buy fidget toys for you, we got to curate it to make sure yeah, treat, like, can this thing kill God? <laughs> treat oh me like God. a toddler in the, in the best of ways sometimes. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, do you guys want to pick one? Go on then, Connor. Uh, well, I should do you say Futo one. Okay. Who's most likely to say, to say they promise to show up for something but forget about it the day of? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, why'd you look at me like that? <laughs> Uh, all right. All, all right. right. Three, Ready? Two, two one. one. Fuck <laughs> off! Fuck this off! Is you. No! This is you. This no. is the man. Bro, you're coping if you don't he, think no. it's you. No. Gone. So it, is, it is actually, you guys don't know because it happens off camera. It is actually a fucking miracle when Gaunt shows up to the office on time. <laughs> so okay, I, okay. that is only just we, a, a we, taste we, test. We have a meme called Gaunt time. Gaunt time, yeah. Whereas you got to tell Gaunt 15 minutes earlier than you're supposed to meet up. He's on his own no, time. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to defend myself because, <laughs> because, because if something, okay, I'm, I might not not always be on time. I'm texting my leader. I, right now. I might not always be on time, but I will always fucking turn up every single Why'd time. Why'd you say Connor then? Because 
if something <laughs> there there has been several times mm. there has been several times <laughs> when we've all agreed to do something uh whether it be you know maybe it be a filming day or yeah. maybe mm. it be uh an activity that we need to do before like a recording mm. and connor's like oh i just completely forgot because <laughs> if, if it's not specifically on connor's calendar that's true. That's he true. it will just not exist in his mind that's right true. That's true. and that is true but i do show up to things on time so <laughs> that is true I still think that you're more likely to forget. I think, yeah. Uh, uh, no. I, 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 I wouldn't say I forget. Yeah, actually, I, I can remember some mornings where I would wake up, right? And I, I think to myself, <laughs> wait, we didn't discuss. I mean, it says on my calendar that we have trash taste today, but I should just double check because sometimes we change days yeah. around. Yeah. There, I, there have been several occasions, not just one, several occasions where I've texted the group being like, hey, we're going into you the office check. today, you right? Yeah. And I double check and Gant replied back like, like at 10 30 like 30 minutes before we're supposed to show up and be like oh fuck i just woke up i didn't realize that we have it today what the fuck but, but i, I still have to show up i still show yeah, up and like uh, and during god time <laughs> because we, because when god says okay i'm leaving the house now that's not god leaving the house that means he's getting ready to leave the house god is always the latest for he sure. is always the latest this episode is sponsored by Vessi. Boys, if you've watched Trash Taste long enough, then you know that we are absolute whores for Vessi because Vessi offers the best that money can buy. Yes, this isn't your first time hearing this, but we wear this every single day. Every every day. day. He wears it, he wears it, I wear it. I wear it. Why do we wear Vessis? There are a number of reasons that are compelling and you should listen right now because they are extremely waterproof. They keep water out and feet breathing with their Dymatex material and they're also lightweight. If you're a little baby brain like me and just hate choosing different shoes to wear every single day. Vessi takes the choice out of your life because it is suitable for almost any situation. That's right. Rain, sleet, snow or shine. You can rely on Vessi's, especially their everyday classic shoes. With a synthetic exterior offering a sleek and sophisticated aesthetic, making it suitable for both casual and formal settings. But Joey, don't forget the Stormburst. <gasps> their high rebound dual density <laughs> midsole offers extra shielding against rocky roads, slush and water. Damn. And you might be wondering what me and Connor are wearing right now because they also do waterproof gloves. Wow. So gear up for your urban adventure with Vessi. Check out Vessi.com slash trash taste for shoes that masterfully combine waterproof protection with urban elegance. Start your journey with Vessi with Vessi.com slash trash taste. Back to the episode. All right, moving on. Um... <laughs> What are some of these questions? Why are people so obsessed with who's dying? Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. We got like th three people now who's asked us if we're gonna die. <laughs> Who is most likely to snitch oh, okay. among the three of you? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, snitch? I trust you boys. These boys would never snitch. Snitching is- But- Snitches get stitches, Yeah, you know that, but obviously it depends what kind of circumstance. Because <laughs> yeah. there is a 100% chance I would snitch in a given- If it's like, hey, you get a plea deal if God killed someone and you tell people, and you're like, all right, I'm snitching. Like, right. Snitch is a strong word. Yeah. Snitch? It's hard because I don't think any of us think the other ones will snitch. It's probably the reason why Trash Taste lost so long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's most oh, likely wait, wait. to snitch? If we, if we ever did a crime collectively, I feel like we'd be pretty good at getting our stories lined out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think if there is a reasoning behind anything. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put down an answer, I guess. Right, I'll put down an answer. <sighs> Okay. All right. All right. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> same brain cell. I, I didn't want to put one of you boys down. I felt I, felt I, bad. I was the same way. Meanwhile, <laughs> yeah. this uh, uh, he's the real snitch. He's a real snitch. A real snitch. He's a real snitch. He snitched on Joey. A real what snitch. What the fuck? Snitch. <laughs> I believed in you. I exposed the test. myself. That was the test. Me and Joey wouldn't snitch. He passed so the test. Go. <laughs> okay, now you got to say why you put down Joey. Yeah, why'd you put me down? <laughs> I feel like. Ooh. Okay, I feel like none of us would uh, snitch intentionally. 
I feel the only reason I put Joey uh, down uh, is because Joey's just so fucking chill and friendly that you just get in. Sometimes you just like, you'd be in interrogation and you just like sit him down and just pretend to be friends with him. And he'd be like, yeah, Connor did this. You know, we we had a fucking great time. You you know, he would would accidentally. I would accidentally expose. It's the accidental stitch. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'll give you that. You still still failed the test. God, God damn, damn it. it. All right, let's see. Um, All right. Who is most likely to make the others laugh unintentionally? That's a good one. Who's most likely to make the others laugh unintentionally? Ooh. Ooh, I know. I don't hmm. know about this one. Yeah. Unintentionally, I feel. Unintentionally is such an. Uh, Interesting choice of words. Why yeah. unintentionally? Well, maybe <laughs> they said something that wasn't supposed to be taken as funny, but the way maybe they phrased it or the or because mm. of that person, you find it funny. All right, I, I'm going to put down an answer. All right. <clears throat> okay. You ready? All right. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we all agree, right? Sometimes I just do weird shit. You, you say you some say of the shit. most like off kilter shit I've ever heard. You know, it's it's, like- it's it's so, it's so like so part of me has been exposed by just going on trash taste because you look at like my main channel videos where I have time to think about what I say and yeah. I'm like, you know, sometimes I can sound eloquent. Sometimes, sometimes I can sound like I have my thoughts in order. And then I come on trash taste and I can't even drink water correctly. <laughs> It's it's definitely made me realize how many small things that I didn't realize I did weirdly off camera without you know without having mm. a camera pointed at me. If you were a rapper, like you'd be one of those rappers who like make amazing like album material because you have time to think about it. But if I asked you to freestyle, it would yeah. just be some of the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, this guy sounds a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the race. All right. Uh Joseph Lopez asks. Who's most likely to ask for advice but never take it? Mm. Oh, ask for advice but never take it. Mm. Let me let me th- let me think about this. Has any of the boys ever asked for advice? Not really. I'm, tr- I'm, tr- I'm trying. I'm trying to think now. I think so. <laughs> I mean, we've all, I think we've all asked for advice in some way or the other, but yeah, I don't know. Depends on the, the gravity of the advice, I guess. Like it yeah, could just be true. like something like really nonchalant where it doesn't really matter, but yeah. All right, well, I got my answer though. All right, ready? <sighs> okay, I, I'm just gonna put down an answer. All right, all right, all ready? Right. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> oh, oh, really? What'd you put? I put me. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Why, why'd you put yourself, Joey? Um, we, both, we both put ourselves. Yeah, we both put ourselves for a lot of this. Because, well, I mean, for one, I don't really ask for advice, but when I do, I don't really listen. <laughs> what? <laughs> Joey, what the fuck? I don't, <laughs> why are you asking for advice? I, wait, I just want your thoughts on it, but I've already made up my mind. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> oh, you, okay, you're so one you of those looking for advice. People. You were yeah. looking for uh, I'm looking for affirmation. Affirmation. Yeah. Affirmation. yeah, I'm one yeah. of those people. Like I'm, I'm pretty, one of those, <laughs> I'm one of those people. Dirty con- I'm one of those. I'm yeah. one of those people where I'm like, I already know what I want to do uh, because I'm very, you know, usually, cause like I'm one of those people that is very rarely deterred by what someone thinks about yeah, a certain yeah. situation, right? Cause like, if, I, if I'm if i going into something, I know if, I know in my head, I'm like, okay, I think I know what to do. Like this yeah. is, might be a good idea, but I just want to get a second opinion just to gauge the vibe, you know? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to you to be like, hey, can you solve my issue for me? I'm yeah. kind of more like, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah. And if it's different to mine, then I'll be like, Eh, whatever. <laughs> but if it's the same as mine, then I'm like, oh, okay. I know that my my answer was correct. That's fair. That. I, I feel like I've asked Garn for advice sometimes then just not taking it. Well, what have you asked? Don't know. I feel like Garn gives great advice. So I often come to Garn. He does, he does give great advice. Garn, Garn is a great advice giver. He is. Uh, is that in a month? Yeah. But then sometimes I'm like, man, my gut's pretty good though too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like I've, I've got a good read on stuff exactly. sometimes. No, I mean, I the, the only reason I, if I, I, I put Connor is because I know Connor has asked me for yeah, advice. I, I don't know. I know it's a, it's a kind of like a 50, 50 percentage yeah. on whether he's going to take their advice or not. And to me, like I, ne- I never, put it as, you know, I think mm. Connor judges better than me. Most of the time I just think 
Uh, Connor's just too lazy to enact the advice. No, <laughs> but, but also, I think that sometimes, even if you're about to make a big decision, mm -hmm. um, and, and you know pr there's like maybe downsides to both sides of whatever decision you're making. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Sometimes it's just nice to get to hear the other side of the thing that you've kind of didn't consider as much, just so you can feel like, okay, I'm more aware of, of what potentially could yeah. happen. Yeah. Even though you've made up your mind, yeah. it's more like, hey, what do you think could happen? Or hey, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, I can't think of an example off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think when people ask for advice, they've already like, most people have already made up their minds? I, I don't think so. I, I think, I think people le always lean towards doing something, but I mm. genuinely think a lot of the times when I've asked for advice, it is genuinely because I just don't know what to do. Right, yeah. So I think that it, it's a cynical way of looking at it if you're assuming that no one's ever gonna actually listen. Mm. But I, I think people most of the time do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially because I think asking for advice can sometimes be a like a vulnerable thing to do. Yeah. Mm. You know, you have to come to someone and be like, hey, I, I really am kind of struggling with this. What do I do here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it could be, hey, should I go bald or not? Would it look cool? And the answer <laughs> is probably not. Was that what you asked God? No. <laughs> <laughs> As a fellow thinning man, <laughs> what is your advice? Well, that's when I was just like, yo, just take a- Well, God, well, yeah, God was like, hey, cause I don't know that you mentioned that you, I don't know if yeah. you, are you you, have you mentioned that you? Take yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I, I've mentioned that. Yeah, I mentioned those. you. You had said that you were taking it, and I was like, "Gone. I don't want to go bald yet. I, I need it. I can't be the four thirty in bald. <laughs> yeah. After thirty, it's free rain. Yeah. So I was like, "Help me out here." Fair, fair. Yeah, because I, I feel like you know, uh, when you, when you get advice, sometimes you can very much tell when you're talking to like a Joey when someone just wants a Joey. <laughs> <laughs> when I'll take someone it. just wants. Should I watch Arcane Guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Reasons why? Look, yeah. look, look. Sometimes you know you can give all of the advice to tell Joey that Arcane's a great show, but you know he's already made up his I mind. I made up my mind. Know? He's he's already made up his I mind. Made up my mind. Mm. Um, and then sometimes you can tell when someone's like absolutely lost, and I think mm. those are like the hardest things because I, f I feel like when giving advice, sometimes you don't want to just lay out everything for the person. Mm. Right? Cause I think what I found is advice really sticks if it actually, there's like a kind of like a realization within the person themselves. Mm. And you can tell someone like, hey, this is what you need to do. This is everything you need to do. And they're just like, most of the time they're just not gonna listen, Yeah, you know? But if the, I think the problem is right, is if you're talking to someone where the advice is so obvious and so like here are the literally the steps you mm. need to do. I would do it for you if I could. Then I feel like if you've gotten to that point with someone on advice, it's like they're probably. They're probably I don't know, man. I've, I've had people mm. with like obviously, like for example, obviously like in a, like a toxic relationship, yeah, for example. Yeah, true, true. And it is you can lay it out to them straight by oh, yeah, like for sure. what this person, what you, what you are going through now is fucked up mm. and you need to get out. Mm. And I'm sure most people have known a, known a person in that situation, whether it yeah. be someone you know, maybe it'd be like an older generation as well. And, yeah. and sometimes no matter what you say, it just doesn't go through because they don't have that internal realization mm. themselves. It's kind of like white noise, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it's kind of like, it's kind of like weird in that sense. It's, but uh, that's, that's what I've noticed. All right. But uh, moving on, let's scroll down a bit. <laughs> Who's likely to get canceled in the next six months? <laughs> uh, it's definitely me because I just stream all the time. And I'm <laughs> yeah, the, the, the question should be who's in front of the camera the most? Yeah, yeah, yeah. me, what are you doing? <laughs> Although I saw, did you see the, <laughs> did you see uh, the, we had a clip that was like, uh, it was our Gundam, it was, I think so. I, 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 one of our clips talking about how Gundam is so long running and it was yeah. like Gundam is impossible to get into was the title yeah. Yeah. and it blew up on Twitter. And oh. the Gundam fans got really upset, yeah. but then everyone was like, <laughs> it was just like a dumb thing. People were like, hey, I, I watched it. And it was just them talking about how easy Gundam is to get into. <laughs> and then there's other responses. There's one that was really funny. That was, uh, it was something like, <laughs> It was like it was like your unemployed friend on a on a Tuesday trying to convince you that the series that's been going on for fifty plus years and has over ten series is easy to get into. <laughs> <laughs> it was just funny. I don't know. It, and it was just it made me think. It was like God, this is so dumb that literally us just talking about Gundam uh, and talking about how it's so long running, how easy yeah. to jump in at any point. We've got people angry. Exactly. Like, what is cancelled anymore? What the fuck does it mean? Yeah. Yeah. What can we even say anymore? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. I mean, we get, we, we get canceled every other week for some take, if yeah. that's like the level you're talking mm. about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think any of us are going to get canceled properly, properly, uh, because I'm sure no one's going to do, <laughs> no, one's, no, one's, no one's going to do anything. So many great out of context yes. moments to be had if we have. Oh, I want to do this one. Kevin A, who is most likely to go broke first? 
That's such a good one. That is a good one. Who is most oh. likely to go broke first? Oh, shit. You know what? The next few questions are all pretty good, too. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who's Wait, all of these are bangers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll go one by one. Okay. Uh, who's likely to go broke? That's so tough. Oh. There's an argument for all you boys, I think. Yeah. And there's, me. There's, there's an argument. <laughs> <That's laughs> <That's> definitely me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> All right. Okay. This is tough. Okay. I'm, I genuinely think. Um. Actually, I'm gonna change my answer. Uh. No. No. I'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> All right. You ready? No. 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 You gonna change? Yeah. Yeah. This is hard. Broke isn't is not like. Like zero money, yeah. broke. Yeah. Okay, I, this is so Shit. tough. Okay, all right. So tough. all right. Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> I knew you fucked up with me. I knew you fucked You're up. the taxi fiend, bro. Yeah. Like you taxi okay. everywhere. Right. You I, Uber Eats Uber every Eats day, every day, every single day. Uh, yeah, I do. Spend that. so much money on your yeah. streams and your videos and everything. Yeah, like, uh, I, I think gone. Why, why? Why gone? I I gotcha. Um, <laughs> it was between you two. I was, I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> Connor, I swear to God, you've spent more money on me than on gacha games. If we take out like sponsorships, you have spent more money on me <laughs> than me on like gacha games. You know? uh, possibly. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> How much did you spend on Arknights? I spent a lot of money on Arknights. I, mean, I, I think we lot. all did. But. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm surprised none of you said me. I, I think you're quite uh, you're quite good with your money. I think yeah. you're, quite, you're quite frugal where you need to be as well. Mm -hmm. But I do distinctly remember when I mentioned to you guys the first time, I was like, yeah, man, taxiing occasionally is great. You know, it's, it's a little expensive, but yeah. you can save a lot of time. And you guys made fun of me. And then the guard starts taxiing now. And I was like, you motherfuckers. We lost another one. Making fun of me. I'm still anti-taxi gang, train you, all the way. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't like, I only do it when it's like a possible tax write-off. Yeah. Cause I'm like, well, <laughs> you <yeah. laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well. it's, it's for work. So, you know, it's- It is um, a fucking nightmare. I was, cause I was doing my taxes. It's a fucking nightmare trying to get all the receipts for the trains. Whereas yeah. the taxi, they just give you- Yeah, it's, it's, it's easy. You just get a paper yeah. receipt and it's just easier to store. Um, and I can I can be a complete degenerate and just take taxis, which uh, definitely wouldn't do if it wasn't a tax write off. I, I haven't actually taken lately just cause I, I like walking everywhere cause it's nice mm -hmm. weather, but in the summer, bro, summer is yeah. it's like two minutes away. Oh, I'll taxi. Yeah. <laughs> cause I don't want to get fucking sweaty for my, whatever I got to do. Right. It's so gross. If I turn up to like a meeting and I'm like, I stink and I look sweaty. So no, I just I take the bullet, bro. Yeah, I guess you do. <laughs> I take the bullet. I'm like, I'm like, if if I, they, if I walk into a meeting sweaty as shit, you, can yeah. they blame me? I don't think you smell bad though. When you swear a lot, do you? Because I think I think your Asian side won on that. Because <laughs> Asian Asian people have the genetic that makes them generally smell. Uh, yeah, that's why not I smell as much. Ever, do you know what we smell like? Like nothing, right? I, don't, I, don't. I feel like what I've ever taken a good I'm, sniff. I'm, wait, wait, wait. Do you, you know what we you, smell you like? Said, <laughs> Connor, you said that like, yeah, like I, I got a whiff of everyone in the office. It's either know? it's either you have a Tundra level nose well, or I should okay. sleep with one I, eye I, open. I, I'm not saying that like <laughs> Asian people don't smell, but I'm saying like pound for pound, white people smell worse. Like on average. <laughs> okay. The, I think we smell, we actually, just, because of the gene. Like I, I actually, I know that I, out of the three of us, I have by far the worst body odor. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that. Yeah. I'll agree. Okay, I, just, I, I know I do. I, I don't. I don't think anyone in like our office smells because I've never had like a conscious moment. Mm. Except like the only time I can smell um, a musk is when Connor has gone to the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> and when I go to the toilet, it's like his musk overpowers the stench of the shit that yeah, he's taken. Yeah, he has like a poop aura. It's like the poop aura with just like this Connor musk that I, can, that I can't quite yeah. like describe, man. Mm. Especially in like, especially when you co we come to the office in the summer, oh, you're God, like, oh. Dude. It's like, so bad. I like, I try to wear like, uh, I, I don't know, dude, my jeans <laughs> fucked me. Cause even if I put like antiperspirant on galore, mm. 
Yeah. Two seconds in, I could smell I could smell myself and sweating. I'm like, Fuck. it's the next candle Fuck. flavor, Connor Musk. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's either, you know, if you if you meet people, you know how people like either like or hate someone else's smell. It's mm. just like I have to just dice roll and like please yeah. hopefully I don't. But I mean like going smell. back to what you said about like, you know, the the East Asian genes yeah. like not producing smells. That is true in a sense because like I sweat obviously, a lot. Obviously if you sweat a yeah. got No, but yeah. even when I sweat a lot, yeah. I don't really stink. I just get really wet. Well, how, yeah. and how do you know? Uh, because people, because really... people have told me, they're yeah. like, "Wow, you're mega sweaty," but like, you know who the real tester of this would be? No, Maylin. Oh, Maylin. Like yeah. she would, if we need her on the podcast right now, because she would be able to give us a 100 accurate analysis. No, she wouldn't. She'd oh, just no. be like, "No, you stink." <laughs> she, she thinks it's, everyone except for her husband stinks. It's so well. That's because you you can also learn to like really enjoy a smell that like others would like. It's just like it, it's like a known thing that like. Your partner, you often like their smell, yeah. right? And it's just- Well, it's genetics. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So Most it's like the times. someone might li might like someone else's smell and they might absolutely like be repulsed by mm. it. Yeah. But it's just so frustrating, man. I'll shower, I'll put soap and everything and I'll, I'll dry it and I'll smell it. And I'll be like, how does it smell again? <laughs> it smells of me. <laughs> I was like, it's me. But I'm like, I just put soap there. Right. What the fuck? That's why it's impossible to buy deodorant in this country because no Dude, one stinks. deodorant fucking sucks here, yeah. yeah. Well, do you know what I think is worse? Sometimes it like creeps me out, right? When I Whenever I go to a room and it's just like no smell, right? It's, it's just yeah. like, it's especially if you go to someone's house mm. and there's just a complete distinct oh, lack has, oh, of yeah. smell. Because everyone has like a certain smell. You might not notice it, mm. but you notice that whenever you go into someone's room and yeah. every, every like, even if you go to like your parents' room or you know a family member, there is a certain smell that you don't know is distinctive until you step into someone's room mm. fresh and you're like, ah, okay, you know. Because I remember, you know, whenever I've been dipped around to your guys' place, I'm like, yeah, this this smells like Joey. <laughs> this place stinks. This smells like this is this is the corner smell. But I've been to people's places where it just complete lack of smell, and I'm like, oh, this this creeps me out. This smells like a hotel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Oh. That's why I like winter though, because I can wear layers, and if I'm wearing like a jumper or something, you're probably not gonna be able to like. If I, you know, you're probably gonna, you're gonna smell me because I'm just wearing layers. And mask it up with my yeah. thick jacket. But in, in summer, it's like, I'm fucked either way. I can't yeah. win, I gotta wear a t-shirt. I'm yeah. gonna smell, uh, it's like, fuck. Yeah, I gotta say, so. sometimes when I have like a mate over and they sleep on the couch or something, it's it's just, sometimes you could just smell them and you're like, yeah. get away. I need to overpower this smell. Come on, this is my couch. <laughs> you start spraying Fabrice on them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, but All right. moving on, All who right. is most likely to join a oh, cult? I know for sure. Join a cult, really? Yeah, no doubt in my mind about this one. All, All right, right, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd argue he's already in one. It's called, it's called the gacha community. <laughs> that is a cult in and of itself. You know, cults are strong words. Okay, but okay, how, okay, okay. how fast you get into different communities I think, is telling. I think. I think cause like when someone tells me like, yo, hear me out. I'm like, absolutely fucking not. Gant's like, <laughs> okay. And that's sorry, that's my main reason. That is my main reason why I think that Gant is the most likely. So I think Gant is just willing to give everyone like- the I'm just willing to give doubt. everyone a chance, benefit right. the doubt. And if someone starts telling me, yeah, we just, you know, we have these, we, we could do this on some, I'm like, no, 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 not doing this, nope. I'd be like, oh, come on guys, just a bit of Kool-Aid, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, well, it's what? hot outside today. <laughs> How has Kool-Aid ever hurt anyone? Like, yeah. I don't think it's anything to do with like uh, spirituality or anything. I just think no. that you're willing to hear people out more. And yeah. That is how you join a cult well, is by I, hearing people out. Well, I, I I like to number one, I love falling into like this is this is not to do with cults, but just like fandoms. I love yeah. I find it fascinating falling into different fandoms because mm. they are almost like a cult in themselves. Oh, totally. Because especially when you have like a small dedicated fandom who are very dedicated on this one IP or one fandom, sometimes that's where you normally get, number one, you normally get this kind of like camaraderie, right? Mm. Where it's something I almost miss a little bit in the anime fandom because that's almost what drew me to the anime fandom. It was totally. like very, very small. And anytime you'd meet an anime fan, you'd have this camaraderie of yeah. that was like, oh, that's you nice. watch anime as well? And sometimes like there's, that's where you get like the funniest memes or jokes mm. because it's something that you have to go through different layers of this one singular thing just to get this joke. I guess that's why they call it a cult classic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's literally yeah. in the name. Exactly. Yeah. And also I just like understanding people, even if it's someone <laughs> that I disagree with, I, <laughs> I find it fascinating even, you know, let's take like the biggest, uh, extreme, like someone like a flat earther. I find it fast. I would love to talk to like a flat earther just yeah. to understand what happened to 
get your mind. <laughs> but that's to the this thing, position. right? It's almost we. I think we all said gone because, like, I think you give like too many people the benefit of the doubt. Like, <laughs> Gone would be the type of guy, like, you know, he goes up to a guy, he's like, oh, so what do you believe in? It's like, oh, we, every Sunday we sacrifice a lamb for Satan and, you know, as a sacrificial lamb. And then you'll be like, oh, okay. I'll be fascinated. Do, 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 you, <laughs> do you eat it afterwards? Like, <laughs> I, 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 you say that, I'm like, how did you? Uh, yeah, I'm interested. Can what, I? Can what I join a session? What is the origin story of that? <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Oh my um, god. Yeah. Just, it, it is me, basically. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> All, right, All right. Let's let's do this next one too. Pa- Apollo says, "Who's more likely to retire sooner than the rest of the boys?" Yeah. The, this question, the next one, I've completely. Oh yeah. Who is most likely to completely retire from YouTube first? Um, I think about this one. I think. This is a tough one. Yeah, this is a toughie. Yeah. This is a toughie. I, I, I think I have this one down. I think I have this one now. All right. All right. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, it's between I me and you. Joey. Yeah, I think it's me. Yeah. Yeah. I think Joey would. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. Yeah. I, I, I think Joey would. <laughs> Why do you think Joey, Connor? Um, Because I think Joey's passionate about so many things. Mm-hmm. And I think Joey doesn't like being tied to anything. No. Yeah. So I think if Joey had the opportunity to like, uh, I feel like nonsense crushed it or whatever, mm-hmm. yeah. or anything else crushed it. I'm sure you'd be like, hey, yeah. I, don't, I don't really feel like I have to do this anymore. Yeah. And I've and I've kind of had that mentality like yeah. ever since I turned this into a job really. Cause it's yeah. like, I don't think anyone, like, you know, cause YouTube is so new. Like no one knows if mm-hmm. we could do it for like, you know, 20, 30, 40 years. Cause there's been no examples of that. So I've always kind of treated YouTube as like a stepping stone of sorts. Yeah. Um. So yeah. And as you said, like, you know, I've got so many other things I want to do in my life. Like, you know, I'll probably keep doing YouTube, but like if I had to like quit or retire from full time, like, yeah, it'd probably be me. Why'd you say you? I don't know. Um, Cause you've been doing it the longest? I guess one, number one, he said most likely to retire first, yeah. right? So I, I have been doing it the longest. I'm, I guess, the oldest. Right. I feel like you're addicted. You're in deep. <laughs> I you f- like making things. I like, like making the, this specific thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do. No, I, the thing is, I do love making things, mm. and I do love connecting with an audience. Uh, yeah. And I thought about it, and you know. It doesn't necessarily have to be with YouTube. I've always yeah. had like a kind of soft exit planned in case YouTube ever falls through. Mm. Yeah. It just so happens that it hasn't fallen through yet. Yeah. <laughs> but if I, it I, ever I, does, I, you I know. I like YouTube has proved its longevity now to the point where it has to start being considered as like, okay, this is this thing's not going anywhere. Yeah. It's such a part of culture now. And yeah, even if it's not YouTube, it's something else. So like being this kind of, Influencer, I think, is not going anywhere. I mean, if we're, I'm <laughs> thinking about it now, technically speaking, I think the answer should have been Connor because you've already retired. You're a Twitch streamer now. <laughs> well, I still make YouTube stuff. Yeah, but on... you're not like, you're not, your main focus is but not I, as I much anymore, right? I don't yeah. think I'd make, I don't think I'd stream if it wasn't for the YouTube videos that right. we're making. Yeah. Right. Because I like, I like the, it's, I'm basically just doing these very long recording sessions mm, and then yeah. just, condensing them down into right. this really cool storytelling. Yeah. Like I, I, I've i been really enjoying like, you know, like Fear and Hunger and stuff where it's like, mm. how can I make this, like playing this game and condense that down into like telling a story in a mm-hmm. sense. It's just yeah. a different kind of video making That's process true. that I enjoy. That's true. Um, but you're also addicted to content creation. So I think, I think, yeah, I, I think, like yeah. I think Connor's going to retire last. I anything. think I don't Connor, think I can stop anytime soon. Yeah. Too, Connor, Connor's addicted. not going to stop. He's too addicted. Yeah. Like you're too yeah. addicted. You're the youngest. You've, yeah. 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 So Connor definitely lost. Connor's on that grind. Yeah, I felt like if this if it was who isn't, it's gonna be me. But I felt between you two, it's tough. But I I do feel like Joey is yeah, you you explore way more creative avenues. Mm. And I think that's like just who you are as a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh where I think Gaunt likes you do it in like your own Gaunt way. It's very specific how you Mm. choose to do things. Yeah. Where Joey's like, fuck it, let's see what works. Yeah. It's just throw some and if it does work. (laughs) Yeah, throw some shit at a wall and see if one (laughs) of them sticks, you know. Uh, All who right. is most likely to shit themselves? Dirt Muffin. Dirt Muffin says. This is, this uh, is. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, two, one. one. Joey! <laughs> Why do we all know that you're gonna shit yourself? I, th- I don't know. Probably, I think, probably because I have the most shitting yourself stories, right? I, I think out of everyone, I, I, we've had a lot of shit stories, like, like, yeah. st- Actual shit stories, yeah. uh, but I think off camera, uh, Joey has uh, shit himself more than 
Um, I don't Wait, know. you make it sound why, like why after it, you make it sound like it, after every recording I shit myself. Why, <laughs> why is it, why is it such a funny word? Shit yourself. <laughs> shit yourself. <laughs> I remember. I can't remember this. I think we were in like the taxi or something, and uh, and this conversation like came up. I don't know if it was with. I think it was with you, Joe. Yeah. The, the, the question was, how many times have you guys shit yourselves? Oh yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and your number was like Joe more, than, more yeah. than me and Connor combined. <laughs> and I was like, Joey, how many times have you fucking shit yourself? I think off the top of my head, I probably shit myself like five or six times. <laughs> I think I've shit myself twice in my entire life. Yeah. How many times have you, have you shit yourself? Like Connor? once, but it was like food poisoning. Yeah, most, like most of the time like, is food poisoning. Oh, I don't count food poisoning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so this is not even this food is poisoning. This is when I'm healthy. <laughs> I, shit. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think I ever shit myself then. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't think how, I How'd you shit? Five times. Five healthy shit. Bro, what is going on? About, about five times. Bro, I used to drink a yakult. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, one of the times I shat myself because I drank too much yakult. <laughs> God. <laughs> and at the time I didn't realize I have like slight lactose intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh man, my stomach feels so bad. And you know, those like farts where you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to risk it. See, you're the, I'm, I'm the type of guy that uh, I never risk. Oh, I, 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 I always I, risk I, it. I, I don't know if I'm like, I got a sixth sense. I just know which are farts and which are shits. Oh no, I do as well 90% of the time. <laughs> and then the other 10% of the time I shit myself. So you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> okay, the, the, tech, the technique. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you pushing so hard? Because, because I want to get just, it out. Wait, 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 do you like push to, to gauge wait, it? Yeah, you do, do you just like, do, when you have one of those 50, 50 farts, goes, right? <laughs> no, I don't like, know. Like, do you not test it out before? Yeah, no, I do, I do. I kind of test it out and then sometimes <laughs> gravity wins and I shot myself. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> No, no, you you gotta be like that. Oh, what, those tests need to be like you gotta have your finger on the trigger. Like I I, I literally like if like the, here's here's my technique. Yeah. Right? I literally have to like sit up. Uh, so like I don't know if this is TMI. Definitely TMI. Yeah. You gotta sit up. So like your ass cheeks aren't like too compressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. And, and, this technique. Yeah. You Real so deal. so like it's gotta be like full surface area. So you you have like the most space possible, mm. and you just gotta like gotta let out like the tiniest yeah, 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 one. Yeah, 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 I do that too. Like I, I, I clench my butt cheek together. So like, you know, and kind of do it like, you know, when you're like holding a balloon and you just let out like a little bit of yeah. the <laughs> like that. I do it like that, but only like a small amount, right? But sometimes that small amount, but like, you know, I, I think that there's only one soldier standing at the gate but I fail to realize there's a Trojan horse behind it. You know what I mean? Like, so I let in that one soldier and then the whole Trojan just comes through the gate. I'm just like, oh! Five times? Yeah, about, about five times. That's so many. The, the That's way too many. Yeah. Every, every far Joey makes is like the fucking battle of the deep or some shit like that. Yeah. I mean, the last time I did it was like not that long ago. <laughs> Cause I was doing the, uh, you know, like TikTok and like YouTube shorts. There's that like weird trend where it's like a partner goes up to another partner and goes, guess the fart. Yeah. <laughs> so I did that with Aki <laughs> and I went up to her and I said, guess the fart. She doesn't know I shot at myself, but I said, guess the fart. And you know, she did like a generic like fart sound and I did it and it was like, you know, you know, when you, you know, when you hear someone fart and you're like, oh, you definitely just shot it. Like, it's like the <laughs> kind of fart. So do you have this on film? No, it's not on film. Oh. We just do it casually. And uh, yeah. I'm so sorry for that. And uh, she was laughing and so, so was I. Like and you shit yourself. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was laughing and so was I. But then I was like, I walked away and I was like, oh, I should probably go check this out. <laughs> And I went to the toilet. You're so vile, bro. You're I went, so I went to the vile. toilet. It wasn't that That's bad. Vile. It wasn't that bad, oh right? It wasn't that bad. It was. There was a couple of noticeable specs. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I just shot at myself. Bro, bro, <laughs> breaking the Geneva Convention <laughs> yeah. in his own living room. Yeah. Okay. Oh my but, God. So the answer: so Who's Joey, most likely Joey, to shit themselves? Joey shots. This is a great follow-up question. Who most most likely to have the weirdest kinks? I think. I think I know who now. It's not a kink. Uh, I think uh, there's got to be something uh, going on. Fine. Uh, this, uh, even if you didn't tell me a story, I, I yeah, still well, would put say, Joey. Yeah, I'll say me. I <laughs> still put Joey. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't. Oh really? Whoa. I've seen I've seen Are Joey's self-exposing. I've seen Joey's hentai taste, man. 
And like, <laughs> I must say, Joey has like some of the most vanilla fucking hentai oh, taste of all time. You're gonna take that, I mean, bro. I mean, calling you vanilla. I, we find that offensive. We have done several hentai episodes. I wouldn't take that. I wouldn't take that. And every time there's like something, you just denied my entire personality. <laughs> <laughs> How Joe, dare you? Joey's like every every time you like every you present Joey a hentai. And he'll watch anything, but you you ask him for a three by three of his favorites, yeah. and it's like harem, vanilla harem. Yep, like it, like all all harem van and a vanilla shit. Listen, like, I listen, out. I I will go to every restaurant in the world, but at the end of the day. If I'm gonna eat McDonald's, I'm fucking eating McDonald's. You get what I mean? <laughs> like I don't, I don't care how many Michelin star restaurants or like Joey one star restaurants I go to. The same thing every. Fucking At the end day. of the day, I know what I want at the buffet. All right, all right. You know, so yeah. I get it. Actually, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck did you say me? <laughs> this guy's the Oreimo and domestic girlfriend hate, like lover. Uh, no, nah, I just think you got that dog in you with this. <laughs> I just, I can't did you did you literally write that down because you know how much I shit myself? <laughs> I I don't I, enjoy it. I, God just likes our emo. That's it. And this, he just that's nothing crazy. Like incest is like vanilla nowadays. Basically, <laughs> like I feel like with our modern day <laughs> pornography collections, you Damn. know, step step bro and all that stuff is <sighs> he's kind of everywhere. Right. Everywhere. Oh, I hate to admit he's, he's kind of right. He's spitting. I yeah. you, I think you'll find. You will find it hard pressed to watch a guy who isn't jacked off to a step bro or step mom uh, horn. You're right. You're Thank right. you. Thank you, Connor, for fighting my fight. <laughs> You're right. I'm not saying it's, it's good, but you know. <laughs> it's not as weird as mine. <laughs> but um, have you guys ever, like, I, this is just a random tangent okay. question now. Mm. Have, have you guys ever like burped, but puked up? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. But like, okay, so I know, I know like this happens so many times when you're, you're like burp and you're like, sometimes the pew comes up. Is this like a, hen a hentai thing now? No, 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 no. <laughs> I just I just genuinely want to know because oh. we talked about sharts, right? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about the other exit. <laughs> because I've been, I've been able to catch it every single time it's happened to me where, you know, you go for a burp or something or sometimes you're just talking and then your stomach's like, Whoa. Yeah. I, I, I want to know what happens if you don't catch it. And has, has, has- It gets this, in your mouth. Uh, yeah, you, no, just, no. It, it, you just throw up, I believe. How much comes out? Because I've always much. been able to- Not a lot. I mean, well, I mean, I don't know about you guys, it's but when that acid. happens to me, it, yeah, it's mostly just like a little bit of stomach acid that you can feel coming up your, you know, your acid, acid reflux is what it's called. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it is. So like, I, I think if you like did that kind of burp with your mouth wide open, yeah. I don't think it's like a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot at all. It's it's yeah. like, but it's, obviously it's going to taste disgusting in your mouth. It's like stomach acid. Yeah. So I think that's why. You're basically regurgitating yeah. at that point. Do you know one thing? I never I'm glad that this is like a, a uni like universal <laughs> like phenomenon that happens to everyone. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I was just weird. For I, it. I never fucking understood it. Yeah. it. Just I never like like there's so many bodily functions uh, I don't understand. I, I can't. I don't know what causes it. I think it's just diet or something. I don't fucking like. Yeah. Do you guys have? <laughs> this is just going to weird bodily functions. <laughs> I don't understand my, my why my body does it. Sometimes you're taking a piss, and then your body for no inexplicable reason just needs to shake. Oh, I know why that happens. Why does that happen? It's because you know you have yes. pee in your body, right? And that's yeah. the same temp, uh, you know, that's the same temperature as your body. Dude, I heard and about so this. You, I've never heard about this before. Yeah. So when you pee, especially this happens a lot during the winter because right. the, your your outside body temperature is colder than usual. So when you let out all of that heat, your body shivers because all of that heat just rushed out of your body. Uh, apparently, it's to effort to restore blood pressure. I'd heard about this. I've yeah. never had this in my life. I've you never, never had it? I've never had that. I talked to Pete. Pete's never had this either. I've, I've had it. You know, so, it, come, it comes randomly. You're just like, oh, okay. Winter mornings. In the mornings, you're, that first pee you take in the morning. Sometimes I'm not, sometimes not even cold. Sometimes it's just random where you're just taking a piss and then suddenly your body just goes. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna chill down I've, your- I've never chill had down That's when I know I've, that was a good piss. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the best pisses. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh. It's like your body's I've, shaking. I've, I mean, it makes it awful for aim, but. <laughs> You're just fucking, what? Yeah. All right. Who's All right. most likely to dox the studio location? I don't know. Um, uh, I know who would. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, can we just write? Can we just yeah? Can we just write Chris? Can we just write Chris? Yeah, didn't he dox the studio once? No, did he? He came close to dox. He came, the studio. yeah. Uh, he came close to it. I think we had to cut a portion out of the episode because of that. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Uh, he also doxed my personal address. No, well, uh, my area. Yeah, <laughs> he's good at that. He's, he's, 
I think uh, he also docks my general area as well. Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right. Who is most likely to do hardcore drugs in the 80s? <laughs> okay. Then. All right. Well. All right. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to write it. I'll try to ask you guys. Yeah. 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 All right. It's it's Joey. It's, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, not to say I've done drugs or anything, but, you know, most likely, probably me. Joe, Joey is a hippie that was born in the wrong time. Yeah. Yep. You know, he would definitely be out in the 60s just preaching for peace. Yeah. High as fuck on LSD, you know. That that is that is definitely sounds like a good Monday to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Shopify. As you guys know, I have a drip company. Yeah, you, you do, do Joey. we sell clothes. Very nice clothes, in fact. Look at these. And when we started off our company, we needed a place to sell all of our clothes. How would you even start doing that, I don't even Joey? Know how you do that. Well, luckily, boys, we have today's sponsor, Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, from the launch your online shop stage mm. to the first real life mm -hmm. store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million orders stage? Ooh. Shopify's there to help you That's grow. you, Joey. That's you. Whether you're selling scented soaps or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, mm -hmm. Shopify has got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, 36% better on average Damn. compared to other leading commerce platforms. And sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Honestly, when I started you know, a clothing brand, you know, I needed a place to sell. Shopify was, I think, the most obvious answer because mm -hmm. you know their dashboard is super easy to understand and it's really easy to scale up with the more your business grows. Plus Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. Mm -hmm. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Just ask this guy. It's growing. So sign up for a $1 per month Ooh. trial period at shopify.com slash trash, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash trash now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash trash. Back to the episode. <laughs> all right. John McKenna, this is a great one. Says, who is the most likely to pop a boner on stage? Uh, I got my answer. Well, you already know. Wait, what? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, okay. I think I got mine. Yeah, how do you guys have an answer so fast? Uh, I, I don't know, just energy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely, uh, so I struggle from a phenomenon called no reason boners a lot. <laughs> wait, are we gonna get- Wait, what? Wait, hey, what the wait, has it ever happened? Every, not on stage. Okay, good. But I do. And I'm sure a lot of guys can relate to this. I, the no reason boner. Yeah. You just are suddenly sitting there, not even thinking or looking well, or, you know, I, imagining anything that could get I've it up. But I've heard this, but yeah. it's mainly when I'm really tired. I think my body is like doing something weird with like trying to replicate a morning wood situation. Yeah. But I'll be yeah. like, if I, if I fall asleep for like two minutes on the train, I wake up and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'll be like, God damn it. <laughs> I fucking do it. Fucking, now I gotta like, now I gotta do like, now I gotta sit like a, it's, oh yes. Yeah, like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so okay. Yes, yes, yes. I literally have moments where I'm just sitting on the couch, just watching like a show or like an anime, <laughs> not even sexual in any way. I'm just like yeah. concentrating on this movie. And then I'm just like, why am I hard? <laughs> <laughs> like it literally make, like I am so confused with it. Like, I'm like, there is literally nothing in my brain or any of my senses that could start this. And I'm just like, I'm literally hard for no reason. For me, I think like whenever it happens to me, I swear to God, uh, it's when my brain's trying to troll me because I never get it when I'm by myself. I never get like a no reason bonus. Yeah. For some reason, it's always, actually I probably, should, probably put a, shouldn't put myself down. It's always in public settings. <laughs> like, <laughs> like when I'm on like a crowded train or something, yeah. and then I'm just standing up there in front of like a, like a fuck ton of people. And my brain goes, do you know what would be epic right now? If you had to hide a boner on this train. And like, I don't know, I'm like, I'm like, I, I think to myself, I'm like, this is, this is dumb. This is the worst possible place to get a boner. And then my brain just goes, <laughs> do you want to see something? I'm going to do that's an epic is, gamer yeah, move. Man. Your dick yeah. is your worst enemy. See, that's interesting. Cause like, I never get it while I'm in public, but when I'm at home or when I'm like, not with anyone else, yeah. like it just in the, like in my room or whatever, like I just randomly get it. And I don't know why. So maybe 
on stage should have been you or you because <laughs> you guys are more likely to get it in public. Uh, I don't think I'd get it on stage. I don't, I don't think I'd get it on stage either. I mean, I don't think anyone would. That would just be weird, but. Yeah, I, I mean, there, there is so much adrenaline on stage. Yeah. The last thing I'm thinking about is I'm going to crack a fat right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to me, to me, it's like if I have an intrusive thought and then right. that just like, I don't know that. <laughs> the intrusive thought makes it worse. Yeah, you just have those moments sometimes where you're just like sitting there just zoning out and your brain's just like, <laughs> titties. <laughs> it's like, fuck. All right, uh, moving on. Who is most likely to get kidnapped? <laughs> Why does our audience want to see these horrible oh. things from us? Kidnapped. Most likely the same patron kidnapped. asked most likely to taste their own cum as well. So this guy's got some interesting, the manager, are you good? <laughs> well, let's, let's answer the first one. Let's answer the first one. Okay. Most likely to get kidnapped. Get kidnapped. All right. All right. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> Did we all say me? Yeah. yeah. Fuck's sake. <laughs> why? Because, okay. okay. Because I, know what I think. Why right, do you what, guys think? Okay. Because I think you know uh, you love you know talking to strangers. You you love becoming <laughs> friends with anyone. Yeah. Right. You, you always you always want to put your best foot forward with you anyone. You are IRL live streaming all the yeah, time. Yeah. Exactly. As well. And like I, you're I you're more, more likely yeah. you're more likely if someone is like. Hey, I know we just met, but like, do you want to like go out for drinks or whatever? You know, like just hang out. And you're just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. And then yeah, lo true. and behold, he's a kidnapper. <laughs> yeah, no, that would happen. You know, I, I did this. This strange Japanese man did invite uh, me and Pete to uh, to go out drinking while we were in a different bar. And I was like, I asked Pete, I was like, well, we got to see where he takes us. I mean, if we're like, not, I, 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 mean, I want to know where this guy. I mean, goes. if we're including guests, I would have said Pete. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Pete too. Pete, Pete, too. Pete, Pete, Pete definitely more likely would. than you. I yeah, think. I just, it, especially in Japan. And if it's a Japanese person, if they invite me to go drink with them somewhere, yeah. I just can't say no because I just want to see what. Because they, because Japanese people sometimes just have the weirdest ways of drinking or letting off yeah. steam, yeah. and I just want to see what they do. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, we followed him, and we just went to some bizarre bar with a bunch of yakuza people there. So that was very interesting. I <laughs> uh, didn't get kidnapped. They were very nice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> My captors were fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Stockholm's in there. I had to pay a small price yeah. of five thousand dollars to leave, but they let me go. Um, yeah, How are I, we I, doing? I, who is most likely to taste their own cup? No. Oh, I, who would? It's not me. It's not me. I feel like it's Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because the amount you of times- would, You would be the most curious. I, uh, I, I feel, I feel like up, Joey in his boys. teenage years would have like, I feel like he went through this really like, I'll fuck around and find out on the like the most degenerate oh, thing. Dude, I am loud and proud, <laughs> loud and proud. Yeah. I, right. I am one of those dudes, right? Where, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm one of those dudes in high school where I thought to myself, what if I could suck my own dick? <laughs> <laughs> For what? Wait, what was the what was the motive behind it? Well, the motive was I just learned how to jack off. Yeah, right. And yeah. I was you wanted something better. And yeah. I was just like, and I was just like, and I'm like, well, I, I'm like 14. I can't like go and have sex. I'm like, what's the next step? Joe, and I look down. I'm like, I'm so tantalizing. I love how 14 year old you is like, I can't have sex. Yeah, I can't have sex. Like that's 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 for adults to do. But I could. I'm seeing all these girls See, in these porn videos. So I'm thinking, it seems really good for the yeah. guy. And I'm literally right here. So I'm like, what Suck should I thing, do? Sucking yourself on off oh, feels akin to like cannibalism or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like how we draw the line at like, we're like, no, 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 you could, you could jack off, but you sucking your own sucking dick. Your, oh yeah. my God. Is it gay to suck your own dick? <laughs> no. I, I, but that, but yeah. like, but I the asked same, the real The questions. same would apply for jacking off. So no. Okay. Cause, cause if then you, if I could, I you couldn't stop me from sucking myself off. Yeah, that's that's the but thing. That's like, okay, Joey, the same question is like, is it gay to get jacked off by a uh, gun? Is it gay for gun to jack you off? Kind of. <laughs> I would argue, yes, it is very much gay. Kinda. So by that extent, if sucking your own dick is gay, then jacking off is gay. It's more just like self-cessed. Oh my God. It? Yeah. That's, that's, no, it's called- it's, <laughs> Is self-cessed gay? <laughs> No. Well then why is sucking my own dick gay? It's not, I don't think it is gay. <laughs> I think it's just weird. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's just bizarre. I know, I'm not gonna deny it's bizarre, <laughs> but let look, be honest okay. with yourself. Okay. If you could, 
No, no, I wouldn't. Yes, right, you would. Right, no, right, right, yes, you no, would. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay. I wouldn't. To, switching up the question. If you had like Naruto's fucking shadow clone ability. Yeah. Would you get your own clone to suck you off? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. 100%. 100%. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No. Dude, I would 100% Even with wouldn't. like the fucking sexy no jitsu that they can no. like turn into? No. 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 <laughs> oh, ain't no way. I'm, you couldn't stop. We, we would end like, we would end humanity. We could have like, if we had the combination of shadow clone and sexy We'd no, have no jitsu, babies. we would have no babies. Dude, we'd be events. impregnating ourselves. I'd, I'd, I would do fucking chakra training just to do you that. You get your clone pregnant. Can the clone <laughs> yeah. birth another clone? <laughs> All right. Scroll but, up. You missed one that was kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, who is most likely to cry during sex? <laughs> From DS. Thank you. Cry during sex? <laughs> this is a tough one, but I think it's a great one. I think it's a great one. <laughs> I... Oh, God. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got one. Okay, I okay. I'm going with this, and my reasoning might shock you. Okay, all right. right. Three, two, 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 one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you, you, well, I th it was either me or me or you. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. either one of you two. Uh, yeah. But I chose Gone because you know we've seen how often sad Gaunt just appears Gaunt out of nowhere. Gaunt can get emotional. Gaunt, Gaunt, get, get emotional. It's, Gaunt can suddenly switch, like, you know, flip a dime on emotion and who knows? There might be a point where the sad Gaunt appears at a very, very inconvenient time and yeah. it's just a, a mess for everyone. Okay, okay. But here's, here's the reason I put Connor, right? Because <laughs> oh, no. Connor's exterior is just like, yeah, fucking gamer. Yeah, I'm a yeah. gamer, I'm a fuck softie. yeah. But, you know, I, I fucking know Connor inside. He's he's, he's a softy. He's a soft little soft sweet boy. And there, there is just like the moment after sex. There is no point where you feel like more raw That's and true. vulnerable. And I, I just, I, I can fucking see it. It's after like, he has like, Connor has like, you know, Connor has like the fucking manliest sex of all time. Or then afterwards he just like, I, just, I, just feels a little tender. <laughs> just wants to go for I just a little want cry. A hug. I, just I, wants I don't to think cry. I've ever cried. Oh, this is during sex. Yeah, I, don't, during. I, I definitely haven't cried after or during, but I definitely yeah. felt shame. After. <laughs> Where you're, like, you're like, oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> oh, that wasn't great. That was bad. Wait, but whose fault was it? Uh, probably mine. Oh, no. shit. <laughs> so I, I have definitely, I've definitely busted a nut too fast once or twice. And I'm like, that was not my proudest moment. If this was a ranked game, <laughs> if this was a ranked game, I'd be down a rank yeah. right now. You're like, shit, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't release the single before the album. Fuck, I didn't jack off enough. Of Four. <laughs> Damn. All right. Okay. Uh, who is most likely to get deported? I mean, there's only one of us here who has been deported, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I completely yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. So I, it's I, just I, me. I actually wouldn't have put you. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I, did, I totally forgot about that. I forgot about that. <laughs> Uh, um, let's see. Who is most likely to have an unhinged take out of nowhere? Uh, don't know. I feel like that's me. I don't know. Yeah, you do kind yeah. of have some wild. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's I'd safe. say you can't. I feel like tra I should never have a trash taste as a platform because <laughs> I just let all my intrusive thoughts out and uh, I don't think about them. And uh, you're, you're, I mean, look, gone. it's all right. You're talking to the man who literally admitted to sharding himself five times and yeah. wanting to suck his own dick. So <laughs> I think you're good. Yeah. You're in the right place. <laughs> I knew Joey would be the kind of person that has looked at his own cum at like one point in his life and, it was, and has just wondered, I wonder what it tastes like. Uh, just, I've never done it for the record, <laughs> but I have thought but about it. But you have thought about that. I have that. thought about I it. I fucking knew it. I have thought I about it. I knew it. But I, I couldn't muster up the courage <laughs> to do it. Who's the most likely to not hang out with the boys so they could go read manga or play a game? <laughs> oh, Ooh. Uh, <sighs> okay, I think I know. Ooh, ooh. This is a toughie. Yeah. But I think we're going off historical precedent here. Someone has done it more than others. Yep. Have they? Three, <laughs> two, two, one. one. <laughs> I said Connor. You said oh, Connor? Really? Wait, why, why, why was Gone? Uh, I think Gone in the past has actually been like, hey guys, I'm going to stop playing this game, so I don't want to do anything <laughs> yeah. for like a week. Well, that's the same argument for you. Except for uh, you, it's like, oh, I have to stream, guys. Sorry. Oh, Connor, Connor just streams. Yeah. That's true. But I feel like- Yeah, but I, I equate I it play it a get, game and yeah. stream. I never let it get in the way of hanging out though. I just try to hang out. Really? I think so, yeah. You didn't go to the company party because of a stream. 
Uh, well, that was because the bag was good. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the bag was great. Oh wow, it was yeah. undeniable. I mean, for me, I you know I hang out as much as I can, but sometimes my social media is just like yeah, gone. Sometimes uh, it's just like I can't hang out. That's yeah. true. I'm gonna go and play Persona for 19 hours. Yeah, like like I I hang out. You know, I, me. I always love to hang out, but uh, there there is a definite point where I just do not want to see anyone for like a week or two, and I'm yeah. very upfront about it. Yeah, but uh, I think yeah, because I think if Gar if if you don't want to hang out, but you've already promised like, hey, I'm coming to this hangout, mm, you'll yeah. you'll show up. Yeah, and you'll be like, damn, I was just playing Persona. <laughs> but Gaunt will just be like, hey guys, I'm I'm not feeling it. Sorry guys. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the kind of yeah. guy that regrets it after I get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll you'll be mean when you're my age. There is there is literally nothing worse than the green hangout with someone, and the whole time you're just like, man, I wish I wasn't hanging out. With no, someone. the worst ones are where you're like hyped up the hangout for like weeks. Yeah, you're like yeah, I'm on this day, I'm gonna hang out with so and so, and then on the day you're just like. Fuck. Yeah. Can't be bothered. I, I feel like I feel like some of those times are 50 50 because mm. there are some times when I've been looking forward to hang out with someone and I know I'm gonna have a good time. I wake up on the day, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like hanging out. But when you push through, yeah, those make for amazing times. So yeah, I, I totally. always I always push through. I normally know when my social media is low, like a day before. Mm. So that's that's what I normally text. I'm like, I'm not feeling tomorrow, and I don't want to wake because like normally if I wake up, I don't normally like to cancel on the day because uh you know we've we've already made plans um i normally like to give as much notice as possible yeah and i can normally tell what i'm like but yeah, gun uh, will show up but not on time because yeah. <laughs> i'm busy playing persona <laughs> <laughs> who is more likely to be on a shibuya meltdown post slash page <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think this is pretty easy. Is it? Okay. In my head, it is. This is, this is pretty close. It's pretty close. Three, two, two one. one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you put you? I put me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, it was between you and I. Oh, so yeah, I, I know, I know. I, I think I have reasoning for this uh, because I've taken both of both of you lads when you've had a should be your meltdown uh -huh. kind of moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like Connor, I feel I've taken care of Connor a few times and the older Connor has gotten, the more aware <laughs> he has been with the amount of alcohol yeah, he has true. intaken. Uh, I, rem I remember like beginning when, uh, at, at the beginning when I first met, met Connor, he got fucking trashed. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> a lot more. I remember back at our old places, you know, when we used to live near each other and we yeah. went that well, one night, I think it was like the second or third night you arrived in Japan uh, yeah. and we went to that izakaya, we got, I've never seen you that drunk in my life. Oh yeah, because then we we thought it was a good idea to get strong zeros. On yeah. The way home. yeah, and then we drank it at my place, and you were. Just I was just gone. I was gone, just gone on my couch. I was gone. <laughs> I was so gone. Yeah, I've gotten older. I've just enjoyed getting not uh, enjoyed getting super drunk less. Yeah, yeah. And now I kind of always get to that. Wait, why did you say point. me? Uh, because I feel like Joe Joey's had his drunk nights. That uh, sure. we're taking care of Joey as well. But I feel like also Joey just drinks less than Connor in general. Yeah. So, I'm less susceptible. So, yeah. so Joey doesn't know his limits as well as Connor. And yeah. I think it proved himself. <laughs> Last time we had a drunk recording. Oh yeah, he got toasted. <laughs> and Joey, unbeknownst, un unbeknownst, we just, had a, we just had a drunk recording. Joey got absolutely smashed. I drank, uh, that wine was so good though. The wine was and so good. And I went home and right before I entered my apartment, I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Because we did it on an empty stomach. Oh my lord! I I forgot think, to, which I, think, I did not have an empty stomach because I knew we'd be drinking. Yeah, I forgot to eat I dinner. Think I did work after that episode. <laughs> oh my god! I was I went home and I laid on the couch and yeah. I was just like, yeah, I'm, I was I'm pretty, done for the I night. Remember I was pretty toasted, but I went home and I think I showed it up and started working. Damn. Yeah. And that was, that was awful. Couldn't be me. It, not, it was not good. It was a lot and of wine. Joe, Joey had a great fucking time. Oh, but dude, it was great. Yeah. Wine fucks me up though. Cause wine is so easy to drink mm. fat. Cause I drink wine almost at the same pace I drink beer. Yeah. But one of them is triple the strength of the other. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I, 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 even if I don't get toasted on wine, if I just drink a fair amount where I get tipsy, the next day I feel fucking awful. Yeah. Uh, Speaking I, of strong zeros, actually, did you hear the recent news that Asahi is thinking to discontinue it? I mean, they, the really? health yeah. experts have been like begging them. Health experts to, were like, telling them being like, please stop. Making strong okay. zeros. Because they're not only are they very like, the ingredients in them are fucking awful for you. Mm. The alcohol content is insane. Yeah, because it's, it's way so too easy, easy to, drink. to drink. 
There's so much sugar in them as they well. They're called Gaijin killers for a reason. Yeah. Like they're actually out <laughs> they're there. They're actually out there killing yeah. people. And they're also super cheap. So it's really, really easy to drink yep. like three of them at night. Yep. Even yeah. if you're on like, you know, I mean, you'll see people just at midday, just smashing a strong zero. So there might be a point where the strong zero economy is just going to skyrocket because everyone's trying to get it before it's all I, I No, because a competitor will walk in and unless Japan changes the rules on mm. what alcohol, yeah. but I, I can't see them doing that because they, <laughs> It's too below it. Also, too. the alcohol industry is so powerful in Japan. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love John's one. <laughs> Who's most likely to shout Kamehameha just to push his shit out? Well, that's Joey. That's me. Joey will do that unintentionally. Who's most likely to fart loudly on a crowded train? That's, that's me. That's Joey. That's, that's me. Joey. That's Joey. Joey would apologize um, Kago. I wouldn't even apologize. All right. Yeah. Next up, we have who is more likely to cheat on a test? Okay. All right. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> I, it, listen, it's an art form. <laughs> Have you? Uh, oh, dude, so so many times. Really? <laughs> I've never had the ball, sir. I, I, okay, like- I, I was a good student. It wasn't like thought out, but like, listen, if I'm in the exam and I don't know the question, I, mm -hmm. I'm going to do everything in my power to see if I the guy next to me, uh, see if he's got an answer for it. Aren't I too Asian to do it, man? No, I've done it. Shit. Have, 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 you, have you not done it? I've never done it. I've always been too afraid to. The amount of work I also put into cheat on some things yeah. was probably the equivalent work of what it would have took to just learn it and get a good grade. Wait, what, what, how far did you go when it came to cheating on a test? I had like this kind of like, uh, I, I would like schmooze the years old, like years older than, than me to kind of have a good relationship with them so mm. that I could be like, hey, by the way, could you send me this test? <laughs> Because they, they, they didn't change the test answers. Oh, so you went for oh. the social engineering kind of A like. lot of social engineering. And also like there was times where I would, tr to, for my own benefit, I would try to do the test well. But mm. if I knew that someone had the answers, I wouldn't, I would never submit the test. Mm. I would be yeah. like, hey, can I get the answers by the way? Yeah. So that I could put down the perfect score. Yeah. Right. Um, Cause it was just like an online quiz that mattered for your like overall grade. And I was like, I'm not uh, fucking- I'm See, yeah, we didn't have fucking. that. Like we had the, all the written tests and they would well, change it every two. year. So. I had those two that changed every year, but I, you know, I, it, when we were in the test, I would, if, if someone was sitting next to me, I would definitely I, I think, I think for me, it's not a matter of like, I didn't, I, I didn't cheat because I didn't want to. It's more like, I didn't know how to. Cause like in a test situation, I don't know how it was for your school, but in our school, like they would really fucking separate the desks from one another so yeah. that we couldn't. So like even they, they if- did. Even if I looked over at the person next to me, they're so far away, I can't see their papers. Sometimes, yeah. you know, you, I, I mean, I, even then you might not have the right answer, right? Yeah. But if I didn't have an answer, it's better to have at least something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like he seems pretty confident. I could roughly make out he maybe ticked one of something box or something. You know? Right. Yeah, like- Depends from, on the test. Sometimes like, you just can't. Yeah, like for me, sometimes there would just be a piece of like, I'd be revising and there'd be a piece of information that just would not be sticking. Or I'm like, mm. I'm never going to memorize this in time. So mm. I would just like put down some quick notes and just hide it in different spots and different places, you know, <laughs> I, in case I needed a reminder. Damn. But the fucking funny thing is I never needed the reminder. Maybe, yeah. may, maybe just noting it down and with like, <clears throat> Maybe noting it down and having it on a piece of paper, knowing I could cheat yeah. if I wanted to, gave me the mental preparation and the mental uh, safety net that just never, like, yeah. I never needed to actually yeah, look on, it. On exams, I never really cheated just because it yeah. was a lot of work and it wasn't worth getting caught. Mm. But yeah. if there was like a test that we were getting online, oh, 100%. All right. With all the tools available now, like chat GPT and all of like the fucking AI tools. Oh, it's very bad. The shooting is very do you bad. Think, do you think you would cheat on like a piece of coursework? 100%. Oh, dude, yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> now now that the, the, the tools given to cheat are so readily available and like a lot more difficult to, I guess, like, yeah. you know, validate. Yeah, 100%. I, I would just be like, oh, I just fucking write the whole paper in and just be like, yep. Change a couple of words, maybe, you know? It's <laughs> it's that tactic of like, you know, getting the Wikipedia article and just changing a couple of the yeah, words. Yeah, I mean, people are like losing their minds over like, oh my God, Chad GPT can write my entire essay right now. But I know, I, I, I know how many courseworks have been done by just changing words in the Wikipedia article mm -hmm. and just became in, becoming an expert at changing it just enough so, it, so it, you can still differentiate mm -hmm. it from a copy yeah. and paste. But yeah. uh, I know a lot of people did that. Definitely not me, definitely not me. <laughs> We're not advocating for a but Yes. Don't get caught. All right. All right. Next up, we have who is most likely to go a week without showering? Uh, um, um, well, this is hard. 
You boys, you boys shower every day? I do. I do. No. <laughs> you don't? Not every day. <laughs> Bad for your skin. All right, ready? All right, three, three two, two, one. one. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I have gone a week without showering before. <laughs> <Whoa>. so, <laughs> not while I was at home, like while I've been like camping and stuff. Yeah. You know, like we've been on like week long camps and obviously there's no fucking shower there. So I didn't have to shower. I hated it, but if I could, I would. Uh, what do you mean if you could, you would? Like if it wasn't necessary, but I find it too necessary because I have to like meet Smell. people and yeah. like, you know, fucking socialize and interact with other people who I don't want them smelling my weak old BO, fuck that. So like, if I was like, your, but- Your weak BO is like my half day BO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, I'd still be self-conscious of it, right? Like yeah. of how I look. So like, but if I was, for example, you know, during like my fucking D-Gen college days, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I went I went like three or four days without sharing multiple times. I feel like if Joey was having a gaming sesh where he was just stayed in for a week playing Persona when nobody, when <laughs> nobody would judge him. Do you mean him? last weekend? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> last weekend. I feel he does it just unintentionally anyway. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I went two days without sharing last unless week. He, unless he accidentally shits himself and then he's, that's the reason that yeah. he needs to shower. All right, or a popper. shit himself. I shit myself playing Persona. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, like, that's me. I like this one. Who is most likely to become their parents? So we've all met each other's parents, mm -hmm. right? I guess who is who is becoming most similar to their parents? Mm. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of <laughs> obvious. Is it obvious? Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Hey! <laughs> Let's go, Dad! <laughs> You're gonna become your dad. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm already. You, you there. are halfway there already. I am. The, the only the only thing that's stopping the other half from reaching it is my mom's jeans. <laughs> 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 the Asian side of me is stopping my full metamorphosis into my dad. But I don't know. I feel like metamorphosis. The, in terms in terms of in terms of my Australian side, I am 100% like my dad now. I, I feel think. like the older they I get, the more my mom's jeans are just losing that battle. In oh terms yeah, of like me becoming my dad. Yep. Yep. I don't know. Like I feel like my mom. I feel like, I don't, I don't know if this is true with every son, but I feel like I spent more time with my mum as as a kid. Mm. And so, you know, as a kid, I felt a bit close to my mum, but mm. the more I grew up, the more I find a bond in my dad, just because there's just a- I, the boys. I, He's a lad. He's a lad. Yeah, Part of me, it just, something about my genetics has just made me grow more and more into my dad. Mm -hmm. And the more I grow older, the more I understand why my dad acted or did things the way he did when I was younger. Yeah. I don't know. Because just... now you do it as well. Yeah, because, now I, <laughs> because I do it as well. Yeah, totally. Do you, do you feel, how much of behavior, how much of the behavior do you feel, do you have now, do you feel like is genetics versus you getting raised up in the environment that you did? Um. Well, I think like in, in a sense with like in, in my case, for instance, being, you know, my my parents being in a um, international, you know, uh, relationship, right? Yeah. Um. I feel that, I think behavior that you learn or that is instilled on you by the parent is very intrinsically linked to the culture, right? right? Because like my dad would teach me a lot of like, you know, kind of the Australian culturisms of like how to socialize and how to talk to people and just how to be a good person. And then on my mom's side, she taught me about, you know, the Japanese side of like being respectful to people and being considerate and being responsible and stuff like that. So yeah. it's hard for me because I feel the culture and the things I learned from my parents basically the same thing just with like a little bit of like parent sprinkle inside of it you know yeah like my like it's not australian it's not like customarily australian to go oh fucking shoot faced after a drink <laughs> but it's very australian and it's something my dad does you know? <laughs> so it's like that's just something i learned what about you guys because like you know both your parents are the same uh mm, nationality yeah, right? yeah so like how is it for you guys i don't know it's weird right because i was with my dad recently and he was telling me stories about what he was like when he was younger. And mm. this is like, this is some, this is like some shit that, you know, he kind of like never instilled into me, mm. just like some very small things. And I realized how similar we were in like the way we thought and the way we viewed the world. Mm. Um, and I was like, wait, but you didn't teach me any of this shit. I just grew into this, mm. you know? I, I kind of like developed this over time without having my dad, because my mom was the one who really instilled a lot of my, my teachings and my values when I was younger. Yeah. My dad 
he's a very chill man. You know, he's, I, I, I think, I don't know how much I got of him through just me hanging out with him through yeah. like osmosis, or maybe it's just fucking like the genetics. Your side. dad really is just the epitome of, he's just vibing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, my like dad he, is just vibing, personification man. Personification of vibing. My dad is just vibing. Yeah. What about, uh, what about your parents? I don't think I'm like my parents at all. Really? Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe animal. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm closer to my mom for sure. Right. Um, but that's, yeah, I, I don't really think so. I don't so think- So you, <laughs> like, and like, there's nothing that you do kind of just regularly that is like similar to your dad in any way? I, what about your brothers? My brothers? Well- Are you similar to any of your brothers? I, yeah, I always joke that uh, I'm, I'm, my dad's the mailman because I, I look nothing like my parents. My mom hates that joke. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, my brothers are more like my dad for sure. Right, my brothers, because yeah. you've both met, you've both met both my brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're very, very different to me. Yeah, yeah. Very, I noticed very, that. Very, very <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Uh, and people are always like, what the fuck? Because on the tour, when they met my little brother, they were like, why is he like chill? <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? What the fuck? Why is he like, why is he like chill? Like, why, why is he you? like yeah. cool and chill? I'm like, why are you like this? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Like you are definitely very, very different, different to all your brothers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's, it, do you think that's as a result of like having the occupation you have or like because you moved to Japan? Is it is it the Xbox that, is that, is oh, that what raised you? The Xbox. Was it the I Xbox mean, that I, raised I, you? I think I felt, I spent so many of my developing years online talking to like Americans and, and other people that yeah. like I, I spent so many hours not around my family. Right. right. Which I almost like to some, some extent like regret, but at the same time, like now I feel like I'm a lot closer to my family. But as a kid, I was not yeah. close to my family at right. all. I'm like just I thinking barely... of like our father figures. It's Joey, Joey's dad, me, my dad, Connor, the cod lobby. Like <laughs> Basically, that. dude. I was forged in the pits of uh, of rust, modern warfare too. Yeah. Uh, that's where I learned so many valuable lessons. His but father like, figure is Microsoft. But that's, <laughs> like, that's like why like I don't worry too much. I was like, oh, this fucking generation, they're screwed. And I'm like, bro, I was, I was like fucking raised on like Halo and modern warfare. Mm. Like I, and I barely spoke to my family. So I, I'm not worried when I hear about these kids who are anti-social. I'm like, yeah, yeah I mean, they, they probably just found something they like doing and they that's where they want to spend their time right yeah. now. You you know, I think a lot of kids, they spend so much time around their parents growing up that they kind of, when they're a teenager and they kind of start feeling a little bit independent, they're like, I want to feel like I'm- They want to be doing the something furthest on my... away yeah, from that. Yeah, yeah, which is what I, I was very much guilty of. Yeah. And then, you know, I come to regret it a little bit and now, that I'm older and I can be close to my parents, but mm. more openly. Yeah, I think I have a lot healthier relationship with my parents and my brothers now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but I'm not like them at all. I think I'm very, very far away from. I do obviously <laughs> some things that like them, but generally it's like almost weird how unlike them I am. <laughs> I think. <laughs> no, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Um, my brothers are cool though. All my brothers. Yeah. All very. My, all my brothers are very, very different. They are yeah. very different. Very cool. None of us are similar at all. Yeah. It's just yeah. like I see Sydney and Sydney and Russell are like very similar. In a sense, yeah, they are very similar, yeah. and it's like, dude, I don't. I'm like, man, if I, I wish I mean, I you've met my sister as well. Yeah, you're very yeah. similar. She's yeah. literally well. the female version of me. <laughs> yeah, which is like, ha, huh, okay. I like, I wonder how this, how the fuck does it work? Where you have like three brothers, and they're all like different, completely different. Yeah, um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Do you think it's different, maybe because you guys were all boys? Maybe, maybe there's like that urge. Maybe, to maybe like the sister and brother dynamic it just naturally kind of tends to like one gets yeah, I closer think, I think to the other. brothers and sisters don't mind being like closer in personality, but yeah. like boys, you don't want to be the same, same exact yeah. same yeah. brother. Cause otherwise your, your oldest is probably gonna be the better version. Yeah, of exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. Do you feel protective know, over your sister? Oh, a hundred percent. She's my sister. Like yeah. I have to, you know, but at the same time, she's also so dependent right yeah. now that even like, I want to like, you know, be there for her more, but like, she's just like, I'm chilling, bro. We good. Oh, independent. You said independent. Oh, sorry, independent. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, she's she's so independent that she's just like, I'm just chilling, bro. Like, we good. Just call me every now and then. We good. Like, we send each other memes all the time, and it's like the exact same style of memes that we send to each other. So, like, yeah. you really are my sister. Yeah, I don't know if it's from like media growing up, but I think there's this like un unhealthy like expectation that's set on, especially family of a lot of boys, mm -hmm. where it's like you've got to make something of yourself. You got to become something individual. <laughs> uh, so I, I, mean, I, I, think, I don't think my brothers felt that. Maybe they didn't, mm. but I definitely felt like I had to like stand out compared to my brothers. Yeah, like do something different. Yeah. Uh, I guess because, they were kind of more like your rivals than your brothers, right? Like, kind of growing up, yeah, yeah. But you also got each other's back. Yeah. Especially yeah. because my Callum, my older brother, growing up, he's he he was like a like a straight 
Arrow grow. He's just he's a great great son. It's yeah. like if you wanted the perfect son or a model son, it'd be my older brother because he right. was responsible, didn't cause problems, uh, and was good at everything. And uh, he's great. I love him now. He's great. That's the uh, older brother. That's the older brother right? dynamic, right? Yeah. True. True. He's, he's got to set the standards, right? He set the standard too fucking high, if you ask me. <laughs> you ran so you could. I, yeah. I, I was I was doing pretty good in school, but Calm always did better, and I was like. It's <laughs> like, fuck you guys, I'm gonna play yeah. the Xbox. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, so, I, I would always like, my philosophy growing up was I will crush everything I do and do it right away. Yeah. So that when I played Xbox and like degenerate, like degenerate amount of hours, my parents wouldn't get on my ass for it. Mm, but yeah. they still got on my ass for it. <laughs> which I felt was a, an un, was a, they broke the contract. Yeah. The contract was, I, be, I give you good son. Yeah. You let me play Xbox. <laughs> and so I thought on paper, I was crushing it. I was great at sports. <laughs> Did all my work, I yeah. got great grades. And I thought the agreement was I could then do whatever I wanted. You didn't read the fine print. I did. Just kidding. <laughs> but I, I didn't understand. What I failed to appreciate was that parents that back then had this, they thought that the devil was uh, running the video games. Yeah, they sure. thought it was yeah. bad for you. Yep. So yeah. they didn't want me playing it. And I was like, no, trust me. <laughs> I, yeah, I wanted to play Trust more. me, the devil said it was fine. <laughs> yeah, so, but now I always joke with my parents that they fucked up by stopping me from playing video games. I'm like, I could have been cracked. I could have been the best. I could have been an esports. You see that esports player? I could have been the best of the fucking best. Well, now now when we grow up, do you think we're going to have like fucking who can be the best iPad swiper? Who, who can I, spend I, the I, most I, time I, on the iPad? I speak to Felix about this. Felix doesn't let his uh, kid use an iPad, I think, uh, generally. Yeah. And I, I agree. I yeah. don't want to give a kid an iPad. No, I not, not at that age. Because, well, because I, hear, I hear like, I've got some friends who have kids and, and they, um, they like regret it because they're like, it's impossible for the kid to exist without this. Yeah. yeah. He like will be miserable without it. Yeah. yeah. So I think- and, and I agree with that. I, I agree. I think there's a fine line because I feel like as millennials, we have a, like, I, I think the advantage we have as millennials is that we know the world before the internet and technology really mm. took over and being really connected and online all the time. Mm. And we know the effects afterwards as well. Mm. So I feel like we have a good balance of understanding what parts what aspects of being online can help a kid and you know can be benefits mm. and what aspects are actually fucking dangerous and we've been through that and we have to be really yeah. conscious about that because mm. it's not just even teaching a kid about that sometimes you have to teach your parents about that because yeah. sometimes mm. i have to teach my parents about the the dangers of being addicted online all the time and they are a grown-ass adult yeah i mean <laughs> yeah. I, I think the reason why i kind of I kind of turned out okay for me is that I mainly used it more as a social thing as opposed to yeah. Mm. Like I, would, I mean, obviously, I really wanted to play the game, but I used it as so much of a social a avenue. All right, but I think that you know, there's also this net. Like you could argue, well, what's the difference between an iPad and a Game Boy? I think there was some kind of like self-limiting factor of a Game Boy where it's like, all right, once you've kind of run out of games, your parents weren't buying you anymore. You either had to replay the games, which got boring. Or you were like, oh, I'm gonna have to do something. Well, else. that's the thing. The iPad is not just the game. Yeah, it's YouTube. It's everything, it's yeah. everything yeah. that you, anything and everything you can do. Whereas the Game Boy is just there to play one game. And yeah. If you don't have any other physical games, you can't do anything else, right? So it's, yeah, yeah it's very well, different. There's also some shared experience that you could share with your other classmates if you'd all play yeah. the same game. Totally. Yeah. That you could socialize about mm. it. And I don't know if there is, I mean, I'm sure there is something nowadays, but I don't know, it's a weird one. Cause I, 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 we have to wait like 10 years to see the ramifications. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited. Yep. I'm like, oh, goody. Can't wait, can't wait to see how, can't wait to see how yeah. fucked can't up they are. Yeah. Can't wait to see if it, if it actually is just we're overblowing it. Yeah. You know, or if, if there's some legit issues. There's some legit. Yeah, because yeah. But I, I have to, I, I will side on the, the, the side of, we're probably overblowing it a little bit. We're, yeah, I'm sure there are some actual social ramifications that are going to come up, but I don't think it's as bad as people are saying it's going to be. It's, it's, it's a give and take, right? Mm. Because. I personally can feel my brain chemistry changing from having an iPad mm. and TikTok and shit like that. I can, the only thing, the only reason I can is because I've experienced what it was like before and I can, I can experience what my attention span is like after the advent of scrolling through YouTube shorts for a million different, for like two hours or some shit. Yeah. Um, and you know, there's this argument about, you know, every generation has this thing, it's fucking radio, then it's television, mm. then it's games or whatever. But I feel like, you know, as we've grown older, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna completely <clears throat> get my kids off of this one thing, but I think having like, for one, being a fucking parent, <laughs> yeah, for one thing, and, uh, and just being aware of how much time they're spending and just having a little bit of control 
over your kids about how much contact time they have yeah. with this iPad yeah. is a healthy thing as much as we had when we were gaming or when we got mm. into anime. I couldn't game every single day. I couldn't be logged in and watch anime every single moment of my life. Yeah. And I think that that helps me appreciate the things outside of the world. Yeah, it's, 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 I think it's uh, the balance Rude. is the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, moving <laughs> on. I like this. Who's most likely to become a vegan? <sighs> we all love meat. I think honestly, like all of us could probably do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can what? do it. All really? right, Connor, it is then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I think it would be a Dude. fucking hard readjusting period. I tried to be. I I went pescatarian for a month, no. and I was dying on the inside. It's just the the only thing that actually annoys me, and the only thing like I, if you okay, if I was in like a fucking lab, you just handed me vegan food every day. Mm. I don't. I think I'd be okay with it, but I think the problem arises, and this is where I, I would struggle the most, is yeah. having to always constantly check. Right. Hey, right. is this vegan? Hey, can you change this? Yeah. Hey, can you yeah. remove it? That's what would drive me insane. Yeah. Because I love the idea. I love the fact that now I can just order something. I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. But then I feel like I get like tired watching. Sometimes my friends have to be like, Hey, can you change this? Can mm. you ask? I'm like, that's the part for me that yeah. sucks. And yes, there are places that are vegan oriented, but in Japan, it's it's a bit of a slog and it's not there yet. Yeah. Mm. LA, bro, you could do it easy. You could do fucking get this done. Oh, uh, if you're rich. Where's that? Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You also have to have money. That yeah. is also the big thing about yeah. vegan. Vegan is absolutely a, an upper class thing. Yeah. Like you, but like we, we well, what was that? Generally, generally. Generally, I If think. you just cook for yourself, right? <laughs> oh, but even <laughs> groceries can but, 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 but get expensive. Even yeah. then groceries can be expensive. Oh, and also true. there are like, Certain certain vegan food uh, restaurants are like can do these crazy cooking techniques with uh, with these chefs that you you couldn't do at your home. <laughs> yeah, that make these amazing dishes that you would never get to you know mm -hmm. try. I mean, what is it the the best rated restaurant in the world that we used to be in New York changed to a vegan? Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and um, they've had a great success with that. Huh. Um, and you know, obviously, the stuff that they're doing with food is very different from me. If I went home and I was like potatoes, <laughs> broccoli. You know what I mean? It's gonna it's gonna be a very different yeah. experience of being vegan, yeah. and there is that aspect to it. But uh, I don't think I could do it. I don't but think I, I think could do it. I, if, you, if, if I had a vegan chef doing it for me, fuck yeah. Dude, well, we went to LA, right? We, we yeah, if you have your own private vegan chef, yeah. I can do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, cool. that's not you yeah. doing it. <laughs> no, easily, easily. Well, like I think that's to illustrate the fact that I don't feel like I need meat. It's more so like meat is just convenient. It's just everywhere. It tastes fucking good. I think I need meat. I need meat. I, what? what, what you not even bodybuilder guy. What are you not, doing? Not <laughs> even red meat. I just want chicken. I could. I could probably like the the yeah, only like thing that. when I was pescatarian for a month. The mm -hmm. only thing I missed was chicken. Did I didn't really miss beef or pork or anything like that as much as just white oh, meat. I mean, yeah, I like chicken a lot because I love fish, right? So that that was covered. I could eat yeah. that, and that was great. But just man, chicken. You can't. There's nothing that can replace chicken, in my opinion. We'll get there. We'll get I th there. I think we've done a yeah. pretty good job I'm of sure. emulating beef. The steak aspect hasn't been done very well, but yeah. like ground yeah. beef is pretty damn close. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I, when Burger King in Japan had the the Impossible Burger or whatever yeah. it was, I thought that should taste better than their normal burgers. Well, what was it? What was it made? It was like beans. It was right? plant based. Yeah, it's yeah. Soy, -based. soy and a bunch of it other stuff. It has a lot of other things that like coconut oil to. Yeah. It's pretty bad for you. It's like generally like the the carb content was pretty high right. and the fattiness yeah. was pretty high, but I thought it still tastes better than right. meat. Fair enough. Um, but I mean, it's getting better. I mean, obviously somewhere like LA, it's a different ballpark being able yeah. to do this. Like you can go to the, there's like vegan cheese stores that specialize mm. in vegan cheese. It tastes pretty good and vegan bacon and stuff like that. But in Japan, fuck no. Yeah, except it's, it's also <laughs> like, would you like to pay $70? Yeah, exactly. For yeah. Cheese, yeah. It's also, it again, yeah. being vegan is yeah. in certain places very expensive. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously the more popular being vegan becomes, the easier it'll get and the cheaper it'll get. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I, there was that one place in LA where the guy ordered, um, on our tour, he ordered like vegan beef jerky. Wait, it was what? the best tasting. It was the, on our tour. Yeah. We were in LA and one of the guys ordered vegan beef jerky. And it was like the best fucking thing I'd ever tasted in my life. Because it, it wasn't beef jerky. Yeah, it was something else. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was the most tasty thing I'd ever had in my life. I'll, 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 I'll get you that dish ne next time. Uh, it was a Thai dish actually. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it was a Thai dish. Um, normally we, it's, I don't know why they called it beef jerky, but uh, it's- It's like dried meat? Yeah, it's like dried meat. Yeah. Normally in Thailand we do it with pork, 
Um, and they did it with some kind of like plant-based material. I, I'm saying it tastes yeah. so fucking godlike. <laughs> I and I realized that. after like looking at the food and being like, oh, this is like vegan beef jerky. I looked at the restaurant. It was, I, th I think it's like a Asian kind of like cuisine restaurant as well. Cause oh. I, I was swear, I swear I had some of these dishes before and then realized, oh, some of these dishes are just Thai. Well, cause I went to, when we did the Anthony Padilla show, you, I mean, obviously we did it separate times, mm. but he, I went there and he had the exact same thing. Right. And I was like, dude, can I have it? Can I have one? Right. He was like, yeah, of course. I had it and I was like, oh. <laughs> godlike, godlike, godlike. It is godlike. All right, we're gonna do one more. This final one is from Patreon from Brock Otterbacher. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Yeah. And it is, and, and brace yourselves boys. Who is most likely to let their girlfriend slash wife peg them? <laughs> wow. What, what? <laughs> Joey, what was that? What was that side eye? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> Just, just laughing at the question, you know? No, there's no deeper meaning. All right. All right, All right ready? Three, three, two, two one. one. I think both of you. Connor. I said gone. <laughs> I said gone and Jerry. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jerry mentions his ass a lot. I feel like a lot of ass play going on perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, okay. The reason- What the heck, God? The reason I put Connor, I feel yeah. like, I feel like Connor's hiding something. You what? know, you know, I, f I feel like Connor wants everyone. He has this public image to be I like, no I only like milfs, and milfs is the only thing I consume, and that is all I want. But I feel like secretly behind closed doors, he just he, there's a bit of curiosity there. I mean, there's you know? curiosity, but there's no pegging curiosity. Oh, you never know. <laughs> I do think Garn could get pegged. Oh, dude, Garn, one hundred percent. I know what kind of girls he likes. <laughs> <laughs> what is a uh, genuine question? What is pegging? <laughs> Wait, you don't know what pegging I is? I don't know what pegging okay. is. <laughs> I, I will describe it in the easiest way possible. Pegging okay. is when the girl puts on a strap on mm. and Fuck fucks you. you in the ass. <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's here's the thing. No, I feel, like, I feel like it'd be like, honey, I, I want to try pegging. Gun's like, yes, honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's just try it out and see if, see if we can get yes, into it. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, okay, obviously, obviously me being with Cindy would be like the obvious answer. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like, I, I, I feel like I got that publicly, yeah, publicly we, we get, we get most of our degenerate shit out in public, you know, we, we true, actually have a true. nice, we actually have a nice wholesome relationship behind closed doors. I feel, <laughs> um, I, I don't know. There are so many things. There's so many like fetishes that mm. I feel like the idea is better than actually me wanting to do it. You know, like there's, there's no, yeah, yeah. like, like there's sometimes I see a dojin where I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty hot. But then if I imagine the thing in real life, I'm like, absolutely. I don't not. think I've ever seen Peggy and thought, yeah, this, this seems sound like a fun time. <laughs> I, I mean, I know that. people who have been pegged. You do? Yeah. You, wait, what? I, I, I know. What's I know. their, what's their, want to get paid. Um, they were just curious. Like they were, they're, they're both a couple that are, you know, very like open to trying out different things. You know, they're just sexually curious as, mm -hmm. you know, as any yeah. couple is. Yeah. Um, and one night they were just like, the, the girlfriend just asked like, can we try this out? And the guy was like, I mean, sure. I'm probably gonna hate it, but hey, you know what? We've tried all sorts probably, of other shit like before. Healthy. Sounds like um, a relationship. And, uh, and he said it was awesome. <laughs> he actually really liked it. Yo. He, and he was like, yeah, I was really surprised. I didn't think I would like it. This is what scares it, me is that yeah. like, what like what if I, because the things that I'm pretty sure I'm not into it. If I tried them, I might think like, hold on now. And then, then, then I can't jack off unless someone's like pegging me and there's a- Unless I'm uh, fingering my own ass. There's a, there's a finger in my butthole. There's a, there's an 80 year old woman in the corner and the, and the moon's in, and Mercury's in retrograde. The jackhammer you know 3000 I mean? going yeah, on like, in the background. Like, I don't want to add complexity to my jacking off or like, I don't want to add complexity to like busting a nut when I'm just trying to keep it like the same way it's been for a thousand years. Listen, at least for me, I know look, you put me down as well as Gaunt. What the? <laughs> but you you put me you put me down as, as well as gone. But I I can tell you why it wouldn't be me. Okay, why? tell me why. I mean, I told you all the sharding stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just, would make you more likely. Yeah, it right? just, it, no, it just wouldn't go well. He's used to having to clean up there. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. I, it just it, right. again same as what Gon said. Some things just sound like 
like, oh, you know, it might be interesting concept, but then when you actually think about it in practice, it's just like, no, nah, that just sounds like a I man. I feel okay. like Connor's the most likely to like accidentally have something like that happen and be, then <laughs> realize, true. oh shit, I actually really like it. Oh, I feel like that. How do you accidentally get pegged? I don't know. He goes, okay, he goes into, okay. It's his, not something that okay, happens look, like, whoops. Look, here's, here's the origin story, all right? I would never accidentally get pegged, God. I would- I, <laughs> no, 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 no. The he, moment someone's got, got me on all fours, I think I would question it. I was no, like, wait, 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 what's wait. happening? All right, here's, yeah, here's, think... here's the Connor origin story, okay, right? He's tell me the Connor origin. He, he's like, Connor is against this, like throughout our relationship. Sure. But uh, he has like a health checkup once, right? Okay. And, <laughs> and, and the doctor recommends that he has to check up there. Sure. Right? Yeah. As a medical procedure. And Connor's right. like, and Connor's like, fine, I gotta fucking do it. He's like, he's like standing on all fours. Dude, I'm dreading it. And uh, he's dreading it. And he's like, the doctor sticks his finger up and he's like, <laughs> Wait, why wasn't this as uncomfortable as I thought it was going <laughs> to be? Did he put a finger up there? Well, they called off I, the, I thought they put like a like a camera. Uh, sometimes it's a camera, sometimes it's the thing. Well, yeah. well, no, well, to get, well, to get the camera in, they got to open it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm dreading it. I feel like I'm going to faint. Because in Japan, they're, after a certain age, they're compulsory. I don't know what age, what age is it. Were they? It's 40 something? 40. Fuck, I'm yeah. just dreading it. Because I, I feel like I'm going to faint before that moment I get it. Well, I should probably yeah. start getting used to it. Yeah. With a little bit of pegging. I'm that, I'm that's I'm <laughs> that's going on a little bit. I, that's like the doctor going, I'm fucking, I'm doing my fish stick. Next. And that's gonna Go like see and that's gonna like <laughs> sow the seed until like five, seven years later, Connor's in like a stable relationship. Oh, no. And Connor's like, he's not a YouTuber anymore. He has nothing to prove on the camera. And then he's just like, I can't get off unless ah, I have a camera up my ass. Ah, one day, one day. And that's it. That's the origin story. 50. Age 50, yeah. It says recommended everyone should have it at age 50. Hmm. Yeah. Or around yeah, around 40, I guess. Yeah. But that is <laughs> what a this way to end episode <laughs> of Trash Taste. Hey, thank you to all the patrons who gave us your suggestions for this episode. And if you'd like to be in the next video where we grab Patreon suggestions, because there's going to be a lot more coming up, trust mm -hmm. us, then uh, make sure to go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Yeah, you might get involved in future episodes because we're going to do, be doing a lot of these more in the future if you haven't already seen. Mm -hmm. But look at all these patrons. They're on screen right now. Yeah, look at all these patrons. <laughs> Look at all look at all of them. You you could have given us any suggestions. Someone in this list likes getting pegged. I, I'm calling it right now. <laughs> and also we have a weekly Patreon video coming out every week just yeah. for you guys. Here's a sneak peek of this video's one. This video's one? <laughs> I, and here's a sneak peek of this week's one. Pass. Smash. <laughs> what? Because it's Gigantamax, so it's much bigger. Oh my god, you've a you've a inflation fetish. I love Evie. Wait, Pass. but like she got drip though. <laughs> Look at her. But hey, if you like to support the show and again, join us for the next Patreon suggestion video, then head on over to patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>